Welcome to The Basement Dweller With your host, Jacob Santoro A.K.A. your favorite man-child And Robert <laughs> yeah, that sets the mood. That's the <laughs> consummate professionalism yeah. we're looking for. <laughs> that was a really good. I was so fucking pissed off at you too because Robert could not help but not like I like I I literally tell him to be quiet to start it so I can have a cue to put the intro in later. Mm -hmm. Last week I told him I said, I said all right, be quiet. We're gonna start. Literally, I hit record. He goes. So much pressure. Like, <laughs> I remember that. Fucking retard. Like, I told you to fucking stop. And <laughs> Robert's been nothing but a fucking distaste since he's been on this. I just make editing hard. Dude. He's yeah, distasteful dude. in every way, but that's kind of his charm, right? That's mm -hmm. the reason people uh, want to hang out with him. He's, yeah, he's uh, kind of like, um, like the not cool Uncle Jesse. Yeah. You know, where it's like he has like the oh, kind of wow, wannabe charms one, of Uncle Jesse. So but, like, relatable. Really, like he doesn't fuck women or. He like abuses alcohol. Like he's, he's like not. Jesse if Jesse was molesting the kids on Full House. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean if? <laughs> no, that was the fucking other uncle. Who's the dude in the basement oh, doing Popeye yeah, voices? Dude. Yeah, that's me. You're that. Jesse. I'm the I'm the dude in the basement doing Popeye voices and fucking. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Have mercy." We're unzips. looking for our uh, Bob Saget. <laughs> have you ever Have you ever seen like Bob Saget post? Like Full House? Like, have you ever listened to, like, Bob Saget's comedy? Uh, I've listened to a little bit of it. It's not great. No, he's just kind of really gross, and he just talks about how, like, he likes to fuck the Olsen twins now. Yeah. Now that they're, they're, like, adults. I'll get heat for this, but I feel the same way about Robin Williams. Right. I like, uh, like, Robin Williams' movies, but if I think his fucking stand-up is awful. Yeah, it's stupid. It's his like, stand-up's uh, kind of cringe, yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. Or it's like, it's, I mean, that's, like, old, like, 80s stuff. It's like, uh, like uh, what's his name? Like, Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah. Howie Mandel. Like, mm -hmm. like, like um, what was it, Gilbert Godfrey? Yeah. It's just that stuff that, like, if you were, like, a new up-and-coming comic, like, mm -hmm. in 2021, and you were like, I, you know what's really going to fucking slap right now? And you did that. Like, you took on, like, an alternate persona. Yeah, but what's in the bowl, bitch, is still very funny. Yeah, I, yeah. But that's the only thing. But I want to hear it, like, in day-to-day -day life, not on stage. Um, he was okay. also on fucking uh, American Home Videos or whatever the fuck that show is. Oh, like, yeah. That was good. That was, like, good, um, I call that, or I, like, let, I didn't go to school today shows. Yeah. You know? Somebody else is hosting that shit now. I don't remember who the fuck it is, but it's somebody just, like, <sighs> I haven't nowadays, Bob Saget, <laughs> somebody who you liked, like... The, to the smallest degree. Yeah. And then uh, now they're on American Home Video. So that's kind of like where like some people just go to die, you know? <laughs> that's, um, uh, like like Drew Carey took over fucking, um, what's his name on, um, who wants, is it Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? No, mm -hmm. Family Feud. Yeah. Family Feud. No. Carlton took over America's Funniest Home Videos. Carlton? Yeah. Did? yeah. Did uh, you see that Carlton sued Fortnite? That's, yes, dude. That shit rocks, Because he's doing the dude. Carlton. What would you do? I mean, yeah, fuck them, right? Does he uh, have the, like know. a trademark on that dance? No, it's his, da but it's his dance. Mm. It's like when you. But I mean, does he own it? If he doesn't own that, he owns fucking nothing. But that's where, <laughs> but that's where it came from. It's kind of like when you when you hear the term like, "Did I do that?" Like, what do you think of? You think of Urkel? That's a. That, they should put that in Fortnite. How <laughs> did you get a kill? Did just I, I do, do that? that? Yeah. yeah. That's a, <laughs> we didn't even we that's didn't even do proper level. introductions. Episode thirteen. This is the bad luck episode. No. Uh, I know. This is a bad bad luck episode. Um, episode 13, we're here with... Uh, Bodie Sturm. I'm going to introduce the guest again because Jacob doesn't get to do it again. Yeah. Hey, so. how's it going, guys? That's, what, that's the intro he gave you. Oh. Yep. You know what I said? It's like he was dropped, right? It's like he, as a child, like yeah. it's like he... Well, it's like it's what Bodie deserved, really. Yeah, I don't really need he that did, much of an instruction. It's he not just, like he I'm just a, showed up. Well, I was going to get flavorful with it. Oh, know. that. I just kind of knocked on the door. It happened to be your house. You know, Robert's really excited to be next to not one, but two fat men. That's true. Yeah, he gets really excited. No, just wait till no. he gets in between us. No. <laughs> That's what he said. He <laughs> said we're in for a double stuff tonight, dude. I didn't say that. Yeah, we're, and we're uh, uh, drinking the, the Higher Life tonight, sponsored by uh, Jim Beam. The champagne of whiskeys. You guys are sponsored by Jim Beam? No, but that would be... Small ass bottles? That would be sweet. No, um, my mom gave me all these little we should just bottles. Oh, you're sponsored by your mom? Yeah, my mom gave me these. We should That's just cool. say we're sponsored by Jim Beam. Just get cease and desisted. Yeah. Be punk rock as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just keep saying, like, what are they going to do? That's my fa favorite, second favorite CD. What? Uh, cease and desist. My first one is cross-dressing. Who are those by? What do you mean? Who? I mean, I guess everyone who cross dresses is probably by. I guess they could be gay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know who we're not sponsored by? In fact, I will 
I will anti-sponsored be by by them them they mm-hmm. suck is um, Uber Eats. I want to actually make a complaint real quick. Did you see my tweet to Uber Eats the other day? No, man. I was really upset. Did you know that Uber Eats is starting to do like multiple stops? Like I didn't know that so they pick up a lot of orders. Yeah, at one time. And what's annoying about that is I was getting sushi and I ordered it, and an hour and a half later it showed up and it was like lukewarm, and I really didn't want to eat it, and I was really upset by that. And I said at the I I I I, I busted a forty five year old, and I said at the very least I want my money back because I missed out on my lunch break. And my shit was not cold. And they were like, keep in mind, um, something, something about restaurants. And it was their fault. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, I find it stupidly ridiculous that they're making these people like pick up nine orders and then drive them all over the valley. So I, I am anti-sponsored by Uber Eats. To be fair, I don't think they're making them. I think it's also a lot of the drivers just wanting to make more money, which is good for I them. Guess. But to be fair, I, Uber Eats has always been shit, man. Yeah. Like, more than half the time, I think my shit comes out either wrong or it's fucking warm yeah. or some. Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, no. Sucks. Your food's warm? Isn't that what you want? A little sushi. Oh. And by warm, <laughs> I'd rather Ice cream? Hot. I don't want warm ice cream. Maybe I do. Did I ever tell no. you about the... I'll give you some warm cream. Nice. I ate uh, spoiled milk today, actually. That's <laughs> delicious. Yeah. Well, I had that happen. I, uh, my mom was like, hey, there's milk in the fridge because I was over there visiting <laughs> or whatever. And I your was mom like, fucking cool. toasted your ass. And uh, I went and grabbed it and started drinking out of it. And she was like, you drank out of this one, right? And she showed me one. It was like a different chug. And I was like, no. I grabbed the milk from the back of the fridge. And said July third on it, and I was oh. like, "Oh, cool!" Mm. And for context, it's July seventeenth today. Oh, so. I like how I, <laughs> that means it's probably still all right. Yeah. I like how you were smart enough to say I ate milk. You know yeah. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the, it would have been it would have been not as funny if you said I drank expired milk. Yeah, I thought the chunks were the cereal, but I. Oh my god, not. that's fucking disgusting, dude. That's so <laughs> it's fucking. Like this gross. tastes like fucking rubber bands. What the fuck? Ah, uh. did I ever tell you about the time that my my dad left mint and chip ice cream out like on the on the on the counter and he went for work and I literally came down at like noon and like it was got there all night so it like was literally like in liquid form mm-hmm. and it was warm and I just thought wouldn't it be funny like if I drank this <laughs> <laughs> and I drank and you're like haha oopsie so I drank like a whole half gallon of ice cream yeah that's like, yeah it was bad that's thought, top tier comedy I think that's like up there with the greats that was the worst <laughs> that was honestly one of the worst days of my life I can't you drink I, any of it I drank all of it oh you did <laughs> I drank the whole thing I thought that was a what if like, no, <laughs> no I drank the whole thing I think in the, I think that, that was a wild week for me because I think the week or the day before that, I also tried to light a cigarette on their stove because I couldn't find a lighter and I lit my hair on fire. Nice. So Jesus, I'm like, man. I was like winning for that day or the, for that week. That sounds like a down, down and spiral week. That sounds like a week that you really just need to reconsider shit. That's high school. Uh, high oh. school was a down and spiral <laughs> life. Oh. You know, most people start their down and spiral a little older, but you know, get it out of the way. I just. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was. Uh, <laughs> I think it was. Like, I thought I was Hell cool. Yeah, yeah I think I, I, I just think I thought I was cool because I was like smoking cigarettes in high school, and then I just didn't care about school. But I wasn't like. What was, else did you think was cool that turned out to be trauma? Um, nice, dude. Wait, ask me again. What else did you think was cool in high school that turned out to be fucking bad for you? Cigarettes. Um, girlfriends. Girlfriends are bad. Yeah, yeah women um, do be kind of sucking though. That band I was in. Yeah. Um. Not doing my homework. <laughs> I mean, would have been cool to go to college, honestly. But you don't need to do homework to go to college, dude. Not anymore. You don't. Ten you know, out of ten confirmed. No, but like ten out of ten confirmed. My sister does. There's like she does online high school. She goes to Kellis. There's no way that she did any of her homework. I know for a fact she's flying high, like on like score because TikTok. There's like every other TikTok for kids is like. Here's this website that'll give you the answers and show you the work on how to do them. And here's quick notes or whatever that will essentially write your essays for you and cite you and i'm like really upset that i never got that like in in high school yeah no for sure the kids going through high school now got it pretty fucking good kids uh, today the, you know actually i take it back fuck that dude imagine going through high school with covid going on that shit would blow dude yeah because the only thing i gave a shit about when i was in high school was my friends and like yeah. so the fact that i could like that's the only reason i went to high school friends and getting pussy and you can't do that over fucking zoom <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, i didn't zoom get it. pussy is zoom pussy dude just invite I, the I teacher to a private pussy. room <laughs> <laughs> come on miss miss mabel you know i want some of that zussy dude <laughs> That's a, dude, that, that would be I'm pretty bald. my shit on the camera. You know, um, without disclosing where I live or work. Um, Let's do both of those right now. <laughs> this is my address and my place of employment. You said that episode 13 is unlucky. It's unlucky because we're doxing you. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually my intervention. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you both are here and I'm on this side of the table. Um, no, it was con- it was uh, there was word around the, the Microsoft Teams that there was a uh, like, you know, it was, like, before COVID, but, like, people would really abuse, like, the Microsoft Teams and think that, like, we couldn't see what they were saying. So, like, yeah. they were saying, like, we saw, we saw like, sexting 
mm-hmm. uh, like drug deals, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. It's like like by these kids who just started, and I was like, damn, bro, you're so fresh. You're trying to get some fucking cyber sex on while you're working. I go off, man. <laughs> get yours, dude. Is my heat go off, dude? <laughs> so have you fired someone for trying to get pussy on teams? I, I, I haven't. Okay, mm. uh, yeah, I was going to say, you're a class trader if you fire somebody. Yeah, that, they, they, were all, they, yeah they didn't last like two weeks, dude. Yeah, they were gone. Dude, you, I just saw you take a big, hefty sip of that. I don't like, so I'm drinking whiskey straight because I don't have any beer. Um, I don't know how you just did, like, watching you do that made me feel sick. I don't know how straight you're drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I'm drinking it pretty gay, guys. It's got his pinky out. That's everything you drink, though. Yeah, yeah it's a gay drink. That's half gay drink. It's like 50-50, you know? You know, people have been really hitting me back up, like, or hitting me up about the podcast every time I talk about my bisexuality, and, like, they'll say, like, I didn't know. I didn't know that. And, like, I forget that, like, I, I people listen to this. Yeah, yeah. Jacob loves sucking cocks. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a stud. <laughs> Shit, I haven't listened to the podcast. I didn't know you guys got a whole fucking sound. Yeah, dude, I could take calls on this thing, yeah, too. Yeah, we got dude. some stuff. Shit. Yeah, dude, this thing rocks. I got this, so I actually ended up getting this because I saw Stavros mm-hmm. have one of these on Twitch. Mm-hmm. And uh, have you ever seen his Twitch channel? Yeah. Yeah, I think the whole, like, like call in for mm-hmm. advice is the most genius thing. Like, I'm trying to get that set up, and so, like, I'm just not tech savvy, so I'm trying to figure out, like, how to get, like, a Google number and mm-hmm. all that stuff. I want to do that so bad. I'm trying to get it to where eventually I'll get like a Google number and I can tweet out like, oh, hey, we're live streaming the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, like give us a call if you have something. The thing that sucks about that, though, is I kind of need like a moderator to kind of yeah. like, p- let me put fine, you on. Dude, I got you covered. Well, you're on here. Yeah, I, I'll do it. It'll be like Jamie from fucking yeah. uh, Joe Rogan. I'm trying to get a- I'm trying to get Allie to be my Jamie. No, you should just put me in charge of the soundboard from now on, dude. I'll I'll fucking be on that shit. I think you're gonna be on it way too much. Is the problem? Oh, which is why I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna improve the podcast too much. <laughs> I've actually been trying to have people reach out to me recently. Um, please send in anything that you'd like to hear as a sound clip because I literally just like peruse Reddit and iFunny all day looking for sound clips that I can just put on here. I wouldn't admit that, but <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm getting docs because of my iFunny account, dude. It was found. I uh, I see that's iFunny watermark on the uh, the uh, uh, podcast posting. Ah, oh, dude, I I missed my opportunity because Robert set sent something on a Facebook post that I sent him from iFunny, mm-hmm. and it had the watermark. And I was about to be like, I fucking caught your ass in 4K, Robert. Like, <laughs> but I forgot. Wait, what did I? What I don't remember. It? But you you steal a lot of my memes when I send them to you. But like, I was always amazed that you weren't like, dog, did you get this from iFunny? Like you save them. And I thought that would be the first thing you say, but you don't. So the one time you posted it on social media with the watermark still, because I'm not going to lie, when I save things from my oh, phone, crop that shit. 100%. I don't even remember. Fuck those stupid yeah, fuck idiots. Those fucking... Thanks to the OC, you yeah. retard. I'm taking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking got scammed, dude. Like, Thanks I'm, to the hard work, dipshit. Now I'm, my friends think I'm real funny. Yeah, I am real funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't even remember that, but I don't give a shit where it's from, dude. If it's a funny meme, I don't, I don't. You should care if it's from iFunny. Think twice about it. Why, dude? iFunny. I use iFunny for just the fact that it's simple to use. So, I use like, because you're simple. Well, <laughs> yeah. The crazy thing about iFunny, and I think it's uh, the funniest part about it, is like if you use that shit in like 2013. Yeah. That shit was unmoderated as fuck. Oh, yeah. Like, you'd like go on there gore and just see and, snuff yeah. and, like, just the <laughs> wildest shit. Yeah. Like, you'd go on Reddit and people would be posting funny m- minion memes. Yeah. And then you'd go on an iPhone and watch a, a Colombian man get beheaded by Yeah. <laughs> it, was always on, like, it was always on, like, featured, too. So, like, yep. you'd see, like, yeah, you'd see, like, a minion meme. You'd see, like, a like a fail or, like, a fucking troll face. You'd see a guy get fucking beheaded. You'd see, like, an anime version of, like, Lois Griffin titty fucking you know, and then you'd go back into like the memes, you know. Yep. You deep dive that shit. I like. I still do. I mean, it's still like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the thing is that it's so random. It's not like Reddit where you could just go mm-hmm. to a different thread. It's like, what am I gonna do today? You yeah. Know? Just it's kind of like how uh, TikTok is semi curated, but yeah. uh, like the way they skirted on TikTok that I find very funny is that they'll post the sound and then use the sound, yeah. and then when you click on the sound, it'll take you to the be- horrible beheading video. <laughs> Can we <laughs> talk about real Hell quick yeah. how in love I am with your TikToks? Thank you. Oh my God, dude. The fucking cum sandwich <laughs> is probably my favorite. That one, or like the dude where he's like, smile for me or something like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. You're so good at those, that shit, dude. Like I literally want to TikTok just to see what you're making. Like... I uh, 
I love it because I was so I was just at my parents' house before this, like I was saying, and I told my mom like, "Hey, I'm going to be on this podcast or whatever," and I specifically didn't tell her what the name of the podcast was, just in case, yeah, <laughs> like just fine. in case it got yeah, a little everyone, wild. Yeah, everyone does that. Um, but now, if I tell her, she's going to be like, "Oh, your TikTok, um, uh, what's up with that?" And then uh, she's just going to see me eating a cum sandwich yeah. on on my TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, by the way, just so everyone knows, it wasn't an actual cum sandwich. It's I'm not fluff, that right? No, it was soap. I cut open a hand soap dispenser and put it on the oh. edge of the edge of the bread so it drip off, and then just Whoa, took a bite of bread. What the fuck? No, it wasn't in the sandwich. It was just on the end, on the other side. But eh. yeah, you, I'm like a props department, bro. I'm yeah, a one, okay. I'm a one man project. You're really good at knowing what cum looks like. Well, you should ask me what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Because I'm a stud. <laughs> Bodie knows. Ugh. I have forbidden knowledge, man. I don't know what to say. That's all right. And I appreciate you for telling me that you didn't tell your parents. Oh. Like, like, like everyone does. Like I have a lot of guests that are just like, can you not like put like my my, my last name? <laughs> or like, um, oh, dude, I told my mom she listens to this shit all the oh, time. Oh yeah, my mom is like one of my number one fans, but also like my number one critic. I'll uh, I'll probably tell him anyways. My dad's not gonna listen to it, but uh, my mom will. She told me today she uh. She's uh, been listening to true crime podcasts because she's a woman, and that's what women do. <laughs> yeah. um, but oh my she god, I love serial killers. I just love thinking about if somebody chopped me up into a bunch of little pieces and put me in a box. Like, oh my god, dude, I'm wet. Um, but she she told me today that she's been branching out and watching uh, new weird podcasts. But she didn't elaborate on it at all. Yeah. So I just thought it was really funny the idea that my mom is just listening to Come Town. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. And dude. Like, I just go over next time and she's singing some gay parody of like fucking yeah, <laughs> no, whatever dude, she to. Exactly. I was literally about to say the same thing. I got my stepdad to like listen to Come Town. That rocks. And he'll send me clips like uh, like he, like uh, I, I he sent me my he actually sent me it came full circle. He sent me my favorite one, the one where they do about Steven Seagal. Yeah. And I was like, oh Jeff, like strap in, dude. Like it's literally. <laughs> Those dudes are geniuses, and he's, like, gone down the rabbit hole with, like, those podcasts because they're the fucking best. I mm -hmm. can't – it's hard for me to listen to some – like, a podcast that has a specific, like, um, like like theme of the day. A direction. Mm -hmm. or, or, like, a direction just because it's, like, I kind of get bored. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, my favorite podcasts are, uh, like, Your Mom's House with Tom Segura and his wife mm -hmm. and uh, Bad Friends with Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee. Yeah. Just because it's, like, it's like this, you know, where it's just, like, mm -hmm. a couple – Shooting the shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, because it's, like, it really – it kind of just, like, you know, like everyone says, it makes me feel like I am, like, kind of just the quiet guy in the room, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas if I'm, like, hey, if, like, Joe Rogan's talking to some fucking, like, thermonuclear – like, thermonuclear scientist, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, like, oh, interesting. Like, yeah. Jamie, cool. pull that up. Like, that. yeah, I don't know shit about dick. Like, you know what I mean? The uh, the other type of podcast I'm into because I really do fuck with the comedy podcast style. I like yeah. the just shooting the shit because it is a friend simulator. That's what yeah. all it is. Yeah. If you're sitting in your car alone, you get to you riff along in your own way or whatever. Um, the other one is um, I like when they're multi segmented, like uh, Super Best Friend Cast now Castle Super Beast, where they do the. Um, they start with uh, their weeks and just go over what the shit that they did, and that's yeah. where they rant about bullshit. And then they get into news stories and talk about the news or whatever. So just like a topical thing that you can get a take on something with. Not always great, but you know. I'm starting nice. to feel like an old man because I'm actually starting to enjoy like I don't mean not I maybe not like old man, but like I feel weird because I'm starting to enjoy podcasts more than I am like music. Like while I'm working or like while I'm driving, it's always like this. It's like talk. Like I'm like mm -hmm. I think it's because it stops me from going crazy. Maybe like in a mm -hmm. weird way where like I feel like like I hone in more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Like, like I started doing this just because it kind of is like my my vent my vent for the week. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's just cool to do this. And Robert's been the coolest fucking dude to just kind of help me out with it. So, well, let's not jerk him off too hard. <laughs> um, on, That's man. why he hasn't talked in the last twelve <laughs> minutes. We I'm loading a bowl, you retard. I need to focus. <laughs> oh, really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was just condescending. It wasn't even funny. That's right. Take just your time. Mean. Right. Um, we don't have to say anything until you're done. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've been listening to a lot of music recently rather than podcasts because I was on a podcast uh, kick for a while watching stuff like The Dick Show, PKA, yeah. um, uh, Super Mega Cast, stuff like that. But uh, I recently have been deep diving fucking metal because I it took me a long time to get really into like uh, some hard metal stuff. So I talk about that Scythe Lord album, dude. Okay. I can talk about it. Oh, so I don't like remember a lot of that underground stuff, huh? Well, so I'm, I'm, I'll admit on this one, uh, I'm not. So in touch with the the, the fucking uh, scene that I found some indie thing. Yeah. The Scythe Lord is a project from uh, Sweden, I believe. Um, it's two guys. It's a lead guitarist and then a rhythm guitarist with uh, the main guy doing the vocals as well. Um, I can't do that. I I'm sorry to cut you off. Go no ahead. Problem. Oh no, I was just gonna say because like I'm in a I'm in a like in a little She's jam band too. Bad musician. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> and uh, 
we're like a three piece mm-hmm. and it's almost impossible to find like a singer and mm-hmm. um they've been trying to get me to do both and it's like that shit is mm-hmm. impossible so like when someone on like the level of like fast paced metal is doing it I'm mm-hmm. like what the fuck well to be fair I don't know if they do live shows uh so it's all recorded so they might not be doing it at the same time they're probably layering it he's probably playing the guitar and then doing vocal tracks on a second take or whatever and mm-hmm. then laying it layering it together so it's not quite like that I don't know he could be doing both at the same time but so what got especially you into that with one? like technical death uh, yeah. Metal, like they're doing, it would be really fucking hard. That's the one thing yeah. I can't listen to. Really? You're not a tech <laughs> death guy? No, I tried when I was in high school because I had friends that were really into it. And um, <coughs> it was, um, it just wasn't, there was nothing about it that was like enjoyable for me because there's so much like uh, stimulation going on with every <laughs> instrument at one time. Well, do you like um, <coughs> Death Clock? I know it's like a yeah. parody band, but well, it's they're, like that. they're like real technical death. Well, I'm, okay, so I'm talking like... Um, I wish I had even had names right now. Like, well, I guess the one I always think of that uh, is like a like a, like n- like necrof- necrophagus or like necrophagist. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, you know I love that band. Dude. No, I'm I'm not. I'm I'm really not. Like I so it's like like uh, there was there was like or like a <sighs> spawn of possession. Yeah, you know what I mean. Stuff like that where it's like consistently just like it's just like I, I can't relax to it. I feel that, but I also specifically listen to it not to relax. But oh, sorry, back to what I was saying about uh, so Cody listens to it to choke women. I, well, <laughs> I don't Men. need music to choke women. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mom. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> um, but Scythe Lord is uh, that that indie band. I got it because one of my favorite Twitch streamers, uh, Joel Varg Skeletor. If yeah. somehow this ever gets to him, you're fucking you rock, dude. Uh, that's his metal band. Yeah. Um. And uh, I just found it through there and absolutely fucking fell in love with their first album, Toxic Mind, uh, front to back. It is a fucking phenomenal thrash album. Yeah, that album rocks. Really traditional, very good. I like thrash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I'd definitely recommend it. This isn't super, their first album isn't super uh, (laughs) freaking, I'm playing Fortnite, boys. Uh, (laughs) 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 It isn't super fucking technical. It's just a classic thrash album. It sounds like it could have came out in like 89, 95, except with higher quality um, uh, production. Um, It's really fucking good. They released a single after that, like this released, I think in like 2015 to 17, somewhere in that range. Mm. Uh, And then they released a single in like 2019. It was all right wasn't my thing but it was okay then they just released a new album burning dystopia right mm-hmm. um pretty good i really like it i'll check them out really technical um it just doesn't feel like it has the cohesiveness of the first album i agree it's the first album's just a lot more memorable oh I shit think. robert's still here wow <laughs> dude i like you're just asking bodhi questions and bodhi's asking you questions what do you want me to do interrupt my boys he's just talking, i don't dude. care about what you guys think i'm here to talk <laughs> all right well then fuck our guests <laughs> how's your day been jacob <laughs> it's been really good and you know what it would make it better if you explained to me uh you know your opinion on this album their second album's good i thought it was a little cheesy to be honest mm-hmm. but like I don't know. I agree with everything Bodie said about the first album. He sent me that album out of nowhere, like on Messenger, and was just like, give this shit a shot. And I listened to all of it front to back, and it went on my playlist immediately because that shit was fuego. Yeah. I, don't, I just, um, I got it like really into like, um, like doom metal. So like, like doom metal and, uh, like stoner rock, you know, where it's mm. like super low and slow. Um, kind of sound like it's like they always have like cool names like like Juggernaut or like like Obelisk. You know, like they always just sound like cool like old D and D names. Like um, those are kind of like like there's a band I don't know how popular they are, but like uh, I've been listening to this band called Lowrider. And um, take like, it easy. No, dude. Like they're like uh, fronted like, by George Lopez. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a four piece from like Sweden. But like they make really cool. I could be absolutely wrong with that. I heard my drummer once say something about Sweden, so I was like, okay. You're quoting a drummer, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, did your voice just crack, dude? Yeah, man. You just did it five minutes ago. I didn't say shit. I don't remember. Well, it's it's recorded, so. Not if I don't want it to be. Oh shit! This is, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a communist podcast, dude. It's oh, this a, is a leftist podcast. Yeah, yeah this we is. We talk about we talk about and review uh, rap battles from a leftist perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! A memoir. <laughs> 
Thank you for driving all the way out here, dude. Hey, no problem. Uh, I was like really excited. I, I told- was like, oh, I'm just driving to downtown Phoenix, no big deal. And then I got the address. I was like, oh shit, I'm going across the country. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. I, I literally because I was leaving band practice and I was like, oh fuck, Bodie probably still thinks I live in the same spot. So like I should probably give him my new address. Uh, that's no problem. It was a nice drive. Yeah, it's uh, not too bad. My brake lights fucking out, so I'm oh, out here great. just fucking whatevering. I also my registration was one day late and I got pulled over yesterday. And uh, look at uh, look at uh, you know. Hey, I'm still here, <laughs> in one piece. I'm gonna stay until I'm sober. Yeah, quink. quink. Uh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, hey, Robert, I have a surprise for you. Thanks, man. Oh, uh, someone why are you pulling your pants. <laughs> <laughs> someone, uh, someone gave us an email, dude. Like a real email. Are we uh, getting again? advice? Oh, no, not advice. We're oh. actually getting a story. I haven't read it yet, but it does say story time. And you know what it's about? In the subject, it said poop talk. Uh, oh, I'm excited maybe for I, this Maybe one. I will bust out another Bim Jeem, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got another one. You should grab me one. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's a whole... Yeah. There's a, here, grab all the little mini ones. Um, while he's doing that... Um, uh, you were talking about doom metal a little bit. Yeah. Uh, have you dived into black metal at all? Um, so I, I watched that movie on uh, Hulu with one oh, of the, the fucking bro- yeah the and, uh, and then ever since then I was like I should like dive into it because like 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 uh, a very posturous response but like the whole like atmosphere about it sounded cool mm-hmm. dude, those like the are whole oh, fuck yeah dude there there's some really gross ones there's like a cinnamon one there's oh, a vanilla as long one as it's not cinnamon I'll take it I also don't want the honey I'll take the fucking apple okay fuck well it. there's vanilla regular and honey no yeah black metal's a lot about the aesthetic it is a little posery um yeah but what you said about doom metal the way I think about black metal is it's just fucking uh, doom metal but for racists yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's doom metal but sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's doom metal, but if you buy it at Zia Records, they fucking side eye you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call you a side eye. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I really like your <laughs> Oh, I love Dragonauts. Oh, God Dark damn. Throne is really good. <laughs> Gong. <laughs> Yo. Oh man, we're done, Robert. <laughs> we're Under we're... a funeral moon. <laughs> Dude, no, we did Japanese something on the last episode. Oh yeah, we done. I'm gonna. This is the fourth, ep- four, third or fourth episode. I'm gonna mention again. We had we had our our first official N word a couple. Oh Jesus! I thought I was gonna be. The no, first. that wasn't us. That was our guest. No, wow. you really might be the first though, because Jacob fucking cut the first one. Yeah, that's good. I did. That's yeah, good. I was like, that's the one where I'm like, he didn't mean it in a bad way. He was like telling a story, and um, I was just like, eh, that's not appropriate. But like, he was. When I say he was telling a story, that still doesn't make it sound any better. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, came up to me at the mall. You know, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, one time I was walk, I was walking down the street in this redacted, scared the shit out of me. I had to cross the street. <laughs> no, Look, I, I'm not saying I hate him. I'm just saying those boobs are different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry again, mom. That's okay. It's okay. I'm actually. Um, I think there's an update on this now where I can officially get the sensor bar. Um, and I keep forgetting to download it, but I would love to do that. Oh, that Ooh. rocks. Yeah, that'd be really funny. Hit me with the sniper bit. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, to the podcast, boys. Oh, yeah, to the podcast. Yeah. Oh, you guys oh. poured it in your glass. I'm not, I guess I'm, I'm not, drowning yeah, it. you're drowning it. Oh, he's okay. going to well, drown the big beam jam, dude. I'm a, salute. I'm, a, I'm a baller. What can I salute, say? Salute, salute. Oh, I think we picked that up, too. That sounded great. Oh. To the motherfucking boys. <laughs> Actually, so one thing I did want to talk about is um, actually, you know, I remember like going to them and I had a lot of fun. But uh, for people listening, oh, that was gross. One thing, yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, you found it too. Shout yeah, that's yeah, just disgusting. Uh, uh, tell me about Smash House. Uh, what what do you want to know, dude? Well, I just want to know what it is because uh. I, I, you know, I made the I made like the sex jokes before I ever came over. You mm-hmm. know, that's what it sounds like is like a sex house. Well, uh, the sex house is the secondary <laughs> part. Um, that's only for the real fucking indoctrinated members. We get the robes out, all that extra mm-hmm. jazz. It's kind of like a Yale tradition. And jizz. <laughs> Hell um, yeah. But uh, that whole smash. Essentially, thing. Smash House is just a place. Um, that uh, our buddy Alex uh, shouts out to the boy. Follow him on Twitch. Double A. Yeah. Um, Don't do that. Uh, he started I'm a tradition uh, like five years ago um, where everyone would come over on Tuesdays and Saturdays, him, Luke, and Cayman, and they would all uh, get together and they would get drunk and they'd play Smash and they'd smoke weed. And it started pretty small, and then over five years it kind of snowballed into a, uh, a thing where uh, eventually all the boys got invited and it turned from just playing Smash to playing video games or getting drunk or shooting the shit. Or pretty, f- pretty fun hangout spot, not going to lie. Yeah, I had a lot of fun it's, being it's, there. it's a good time. Um, good homies. 
It definitely gets out of hand sometimes, but uh, that's part of the charm. I was actually going to probably transition to that. I was going to ask you some crazy stories. Um, Real quick, before we get into that, is that door closed? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure a lady's sleeping right now. So we can start yelling. Yeah, he starts screaming. screaming. (laughs) Um, You know, it is no secret to me that uh, Bodie is a really cool dude to hang out with and uh, party with. And uh, you're really good at handling your booze, actually, for the most part, from what I've seen. Um, but I, I, I was going to ask you if you had any crazy stories from Smash House that you were able to talk about. So I'll talk about this one because I doubt they'll listen to it. And if they do, I don't think they mind sharing, especially since I don't say their names. But we've had some people coming over recently that are new blood to Smash, essentially, right? Okay. Uh, they're they're real young. They're about like 21. Okay. Um, so they're legal to drink, but they come over and uh, they, they hang out or whatever. Um, and... Uh, because they've bred new life into Smash, everyone's getting a new level of wasted because we're all reliving being not uh, old motherfuckers now. Right. Um, so a couple weeks ago, uh, I ended up getting pretty fucking trashed. And, uh, and making, for the record, you don't drink booze. You or no, not beer. I'm sorry, you don't drink beer. Yeah, you no, drink I'm liquor straight booze. I'm and, booze, yeah. and then I'll chase with a beer if I got it. Yeah. Um, I I got blackout fucking drunk really? within like two hours like just came home and instantly was like drinking red bull vodka drinking fucking shots of whiskey drinking fucking whatever getting just shit faced yeah. um within like two fucking hours i am completely blackout drunk um and aaron um uh, from exile martyr aaron oh Hale, he was on the podcast yeah he um he can vouch for this one um fucking apparently i got so drunk that i made out with three people that night that's what's uh, up. one of which a dude two of which women hell yeah um, I got naked down to my underwear, uh, so. to which, uh, two other people got naked with me, uh-huh. um, and just got so fucking rowdy uh-huh. that just making out with people basically completely naked. You're just a big, in the kitchen. Ki- big bear kissing machine, dude. What yeah. the hell? I, I, <laughs> Robert's Aaron, like, where was I, dude? No, Aaron, uh, said something about this to me, but he didn't describe it the way you're describing it. You gonna talk about it. it. Are you going to talk I about mean, it now? Well, or? He didn't talk about it naked. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I got, uh. I, I didn't know either, so I just remember, because I remember, you know how blackouts, you wake up at certain moments? Yeah. I remember waking up during the three kisses, and then passing the fuck back out to blackout zone. I remember and I the three kisses. And I didn't know I was fucking, uh, I didn't know I was in my fucking underwear until a week later when one of the girls came back, and she was like, yeah, we made out, it was funny, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. Well, to be fair... Uh, <laughs> Oh, Bodie! That chick uh, that I made out with and her boyfriend were the other. The, was the other guy I made out with. <laughs> um, and uh, Bodie's rock, walking around the house. Yeah, I kiss you. I want to kiss you. Yeah, that literally is me. Um, and she was like, "Yeah, you were down to your underwear, and uh, Jacob got down to his underwear with you." I was Whoa. like, "Sheesh!" So. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little bit of a wild story. There's also the story of the time I got punched like 15 times in the face. Why? Because I just watched Fight Club, and I'm a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just got watched that's Fight Club. Awesome, I was like, dude. damn, Brad Pitt is literally fucking me, dude. <laughs> it's like the kids that watch the Joker movies. It's like, I get it, dude. Yo, like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> We you live. clearly don't get it. So. <laughs> we live in a society. Crazy frog. It's just, <laughs> just normal, normal frog. frog. It's just normal frog. That's oh. What? There's an N-word on your door. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not, uh, that's from previous tenants. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, you know who was the first to point that out? It was Dondre on the podcast. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Dondre of all people is the one that fucking. So it's caught hidden that. by a shoe hanger. Is it hard R or an no? A? It's it's got the A. It's like oh, casual. Okay. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's casual, casual racism. Casual formal. Yeah, casual. <laughs> it's like the like comic sans of racism. You know, <laughs> like hard R. Like hard R is like Ariel bl- like Ariel Black. You know what I mean? Like, like, like polo time, shirt. Yeah. Emphasis on black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like time or how it's it's like Times New Roman. <laughs> but like the A is like Helvetica, you know. The A is Comic Sans. <laughs> yeah, it's Comic Sans. <laughs> uh, you know, I was gonna ask this too, Bodie. Have you ever had the opportunity to start your own or or join a podcast? Because I've always thought you would have been good with this. I um, I've had a couple people in my life tell me to do a podcast, but are I you trying always... to kick me out right now? <laughs> yeah, are you currently looking hey, for dude, word? Hey, dude, all I'm saying is <laughs> if you do a word count on this fucking episode. We'll see you <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I say is gold. I don't That's need true. to say you a are, lot. You are a gold speaker. Yeah, he's actually pretty funny when he when he tr- when he wants to be. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you either, buddy. Except I totally did, but yeah. now I'm done. It's fine. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, it's just fucking ego stroking. That's all I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm talking yeah. to Jacob so much because I like masturbating my ego, but mm. masturbation is nothing to fornication, baby. Want to hear something um, crazy? Yeah. It's almost been one month for me. Since, Since you masturbated? Shit. Good, yeah. good job, dude. No fap. Uh, Get that so up. Kind of. Uh, well, I was doing it a lot. and uh, Can you fly it? <laughs> no. I am able to mildly read minds, but uh, that's about it. I uh, I just I I, I it's gonna sound so fucking soy boy, but like I did a lot of research on it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was like a so basically Jacob's a proud boy now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, we're always ready. Women don't come. We're standing, we're standing up, and we're standing by. Yeah, we're Mr. standing, President. we're standing by, Mr. Jacob President. Says women don't come, and I never masturbate. That's a myth. Everyone knows this. Continue. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, no, it was just because like I got so like addicted to doing it and i'm talking mm-hmm. like like you know and, and and people are gonna say like oh that's nothing but like i would do three four times a day and it started when that's i got a fucking lot. and it started when i started working from home mm-hmm. like everyone else is yeah. it's like so it's like i because don't get me wrong i mean while i was working i was definitely all horned up but i'm not mm-hmm. gonna start jacking off at, <laughs> at work you know <laughs> so which by the way it takes a special person Look, debbie i'm at i'm at home right now i can do whatever I want. hands down i don't care if i'm on the <laughs> clock you have a mortgage that I'm taking care of, and I have a hard on that I'm taking care of. <laughs> um, it's what's well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's um, I got really like just like addicted to it, and mm-hmm. then it got to the point where psychologically, like sex in real life mm-hmm. <laughs> wasn't wasn't as like cool as you know. Like, damn, Dude, I wish I was beating my lame. dick instead. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> it, it felt really, and like I think that was like the turning point, like where I was like, this is really fucking lame. Like I need to like cool yeah. it. Um, plus I kind of would do it. Like I wouldn't get anything done. Yeah. Like I would just beat it until it fell off. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I, and so it's like, how did you get it back on? <laughs> <laughs> Super glue. Um, but you know, even I'm like, there were times where I was like, okay, I got to edit the podcast. But I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> but I can't stop beating my dick. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not so joking. So when you were texting me the other day, like you gave me so much editing work to do, you really were just like. No, oh, I dude. fucking bricked up his I, shit. I, I wasn't. I wasn't jerking. I off. cannot stop stroking my meat. I dude. tell you what, though, dude, it it's crazy how it is the same equivalency of like quitting smoking. Yeah, I was irritable. Like I felt like shit. Like I literally felt like I felt like my balls were like literally filling up. Like it, like <laughs> no, dude, for real. You, you like, looked like Stitch's fucking badness level at the beginning yeah, of the movie, yeah, but like full <laughs> of cum. <your> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. That's just the fucking cum in my body that like I haven't released in a month. He uh, also, while he was watching that level, was judging or watching that movie. He was judging fucking uh, what's the bitch's name? Nami. What the fuck? Na- is uh, it? Na- 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 Nani, na- right? Nani, yeah. I think yeah. So. he's judging her badness level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, now here's the thing. And, Off and the fucking. Let me charts. make this very clear. I have sex. I just not drinking out. <laughs> okay, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we get it, Jacob. You have you got it. You got a girlfriend. No, but that's just get it. Pussy, bro. I understand. <laughs> Thank you. No, but that's it. I mean, that's literally I just was like, you know what? Let me see if I can stop doing this. But you want to hear something really interesting? When I stopped jerking off, you know what went through the roof? Warhammer collecting. <laughs> 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 What the fuck, dude? Oh, dead ass. That is so fucking true. Dude, I Holy literally fuck. started painting and building Warhammer <laughs> miniatures. Like, like Ali would say, like, you haven't talked in, like, four hours. Do you, know you, like, why? Mentally, why? you know why that happened? You why? mentally, you chemically the castrated love. yourself. Yeah. The Emperor's love kept yeah. you from loving yourself. Yeah, I felt like and a dirty, good. dirty heretic, you yeah. know? So it's like... The Emperor a, would be ashamed if he saw you playing with your fucking limp shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, no, I... It, realistically, what I think about NoFap, right... I don't think it's necessarily the jerking off that's that, that bad. It's it's not great for you because if you have a fucking dopamine button, you're going to fucking press oh, yeah. it. Nobody okay. has that fucking that <laughs> whatever. If yeah. you're like, oh, I'm sad, beat off. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you're going to fucking press it. And then you're going to have less dopamine for later. Right. So, but I think the real problem is actually pornography. I think yeah. it's porn. I think if people are constantly watching fucking porn, yeah. beyond the extra things people talk about, unrealistic, whatever. Yeah. You're just literally pumping yourself full of serotonin and dopamine. That's crazy. With no, like, whatever. And you're just borrowing it from later. You're not actually making yourself feel better. Just, mm-hmm. like, tomorrow you're going to feel like shit because you'd rather be jerking off. We would be jerking off right now. Yeah. Like, I'm at my fucking grandpa's funeral. I wish I was blowing loads right now. Like, yeah, like, it's... <laughs> you know? 
I had a nickel, dude. Every time I'm at my grandpa's funeral, I just get fucking just bricked get so up horrible. as shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I agree man. with you. I mean, honestly, like it's like uh, it's a vice, dude, for real. Especially, mm-hmm. and that's why it was sort of becoming unenjoyable for me in real life was because number one, I definitely don't have the stamina, 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 stamina that these people have. Fucking to do the crazy shit that they're doing. Well, they're all pumped full of fucking drugs. It, really? Yeah, dude. Porn stars are taking Viagra by the fucking handful, dude. Oh. Wholesale. No like, way, man. No way. Yeah, wholesale. There's no I way. I don't these think all stars... of them are. Yeah. Nah. Not all of them. I'm. I'm talking about the Brazzers guys. Okay. Like if you're yeah. talking about the mainstream porn. Dude, yes. The, these guys that the go to combat fucking shoot a day. Of porn yeah, stars, who dude. are fucking busting five loads a goddamn yeah. set, and three of those loads didn't get in. They're yeah. just fucking extras. Like Fuck, those yeah, motherfuckers yeah. are pumping full of Viagra. That's for fucking sure. crazy. That yeah. rocks. Have you ever taken one before? No. Dude, I, I want to. I want to take a dick pill so bad, to be honest. Do you want to hear a really good story? I think that yes, would be I fucking, fucking awesome. Do. This is a great story. So, um, my grandpa moved here from Ohio. I did not expect that story to start off with. <laughs> I know, right? Like, no, yeah. so, so, so listen, I fucking love this dude. <laughs> Just and like, slinging dick I, pills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm the oldest of my siblings by like ten years. So like, any aunts, uncles, grandparents, like they. No they offense you to them, the most. they prefer my company because I can actually retort with what they're talking mm-hmm. about. And so my grandpa was is just a, like he, he's like a big drinker. Like he loves just Bud, Budweisers all day long, yeah. and like chain smoking. He's one of the dudes, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolute lad. Yeah, dude, he's <laughs> really one of the boys. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, and we used to go to uh, Mavericks. Remember Mavericks? I do remember Mavericks. Did you ever go to Mavericks I on the? Tw- uh, was it on like twenty? No, it was on like 19th in Peoria. Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, it's it was like a club bar, mm-hmm. and because of that, they legally were allowed to smoke inside. That fucking kid, yeah, dude, ass. it was amazing. Yeah, dude, Mavericks was cool as shit. And cheap, yeah. cheap you could beer, smoke and you right could at smoke, your table, yeah, right, right at the bar. That and so, so like, literally, I would steal. <laughs> I would steal. It's still open. If you want to go, it's there. Like, yeah, it's re- it's real and very close. Wait. No, I'm thinking of the fucking sand place next to the fucking Lucas Sage, Sage sand. sand. Yeah, yeah fuck no, that no, place. You can't smoke no. inside there, dude. That no. place sucks. Uh, so we're sitting there at the bar and like we're smoking and like like he he likes it because he has a drinking buddy and you know he enjoys the company because all he has is like my grandma and all he and he just <laughs> 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 he only has the love of his life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. just the old ball and fucking chain at home. Ow! You know, just like very like. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You know, my grandma's catchphrase. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was like an old like an old shrieking lady like like saying ow, like old married with children, like ow. Uh, but you Peggy know? Bundy was hot though. I Peggy would kind of pipe Very Peggy hot, Bundy. dude. Oh, no, she I was full blown pipe Peggy Bundy. And fucking, she, she was on voices, Sons of Anarchy? Yeah, she was the, uh, the I've fucking, never seen Sons of Anarchy. You know, maybe oh, I never watched Sons of Anarchy either. I just knew she was on there because I was fucking bricked up for it. <laughs> you know, if this podcast I was a fucking child horny for that if shit. If this podcast was like a month before, I would have definitely beat it, you know what I mean? To to Peggy, but I didn't. On the podcast? Probably. I'm right yeah. here. <laughs> Most times I don't even have pants. That would help actually. Well, that I guess that explains right now. So so we're hanging out. So so we'd hang also out at the bar. Th- sorry. Yeah. So, oh, go ahead. Also, when she voices Leela, I get bricked up. So Leela, Taranga from Futurama. Yeah, Futurama. Are you seriously? Did really? you not How know much that did that you was? Smoke? Did I, you? I've never seen Futurama. You've never. <laughs> off, you've never seen Futurama. I've never, I've never seen <laughs> Futurama. What the fuck? Have you lived under a rock? What are you doing? He's fucking time? with you, dude. There's no way, dude. I played video games. What the fuck? Oh, he's There's li- he's no lying. fucking way, that's such, right? This, this is, is a bit. that's it's like a saying bit. you've never watched Simpsons. Yeah. Like, what dude, the fuck are you talking like about? Like, I straight up like. I never went through Futurama. Not the whole thing, but you've caught episodes. Like, you know what who Leela is. Okay, I know who Leela is. But okay, like, then that's all I'm asking. That's Peggy Bundy? Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Why would we go through Hand all this effort to, to give you shit? fucking God, Chad. Yeah. Don't talk to me about shit, Jacob. I mean, you're the one interrupting my story. I don't care. So I'm hanging out my with my grandpa podcast. <laughs> at, the, at Mavericks. Hey, Bodie, dude, what did you do today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you a, a good story. I'm and, trying to hear it. And, you know, he would just get drunk during the day, and then, like, you would just talk about, like, Nam, and <laughs> for real, like, literally, like, <laughs> no, he would yeah, just sorry, be, like, he would going. just talk about how, like, I have, like, Vietnamese aunts and uncles, you know, and I was like, that rocks, I guess, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> one day, this is fucking crazy, so we were there for, like, a lot longer than we normally are, like, it's, so it's about, like, noon, but we're on, like, beer 11 and 12, like, just chilling there, and he gets, like, really emotional, like he like I never seen like there's something really hard about seeing a man of your family cry, mm-hmm. you know. 
Sexist, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could watch my mom cry all day, you know, like, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Breaks up as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, mommy. I love Same, you. Same, dude. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, he starts like crying. And I'm like, I thought he was fucking with me. Like, I thought he was like making a joke. And I'm like looking over, and he's like, I just feel like I haven't been a good grandpa to you guys. And I just, you know, like, I'm, I'm glad I moved here and I get to hang out. I was like, relax, guy. Like, we're at a bar. Hey, I'm man, like, I'm trying to fucking <laughs> chill, and you are yeah. harshing the fucking Bible. You should have man. taken full advantage, dude. Like, so, yeah, you were yeah, a take him grandpa. to the bathroom. And so, you know how much my beers were tonight? <laughs> <laughs> that was the cool thing is he always picked up the tab. Fuck uh, yes, yeah, dude, dude. He was always good. And then so I, so I went to the bathroom, and he does have a drinking problem, or he did. So I had to, like, tell the lady, like, hey, while I'm gone, He's going to ask for a whiskey. Like, don't let him have it. Because my grandma would get all pissed if he came home, like, super shit-faced, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I go to the bathroom. Literally, I know he hears me say this because he flags down the other lady at the bar. (laughs) And, like, I'm literally watching him, and he gets, like, a shot of whiskey. And I'm like, like, God damn it. (laughs) So I sit back down, and it's it's, it's like his whole mood changed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's like, he goes, uh, again, I'm his grandson, but... When he's drinking enough, I'm at the age where he feels like I'm like I was one of his war buddies. So he's yep. just like, "Tell me about pussy." Like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, "I never felt it. Tell me yeah. about it." Yeah. He's just like, "What kind of new age tale are you getting?" You know, and like, so like, I was do like, they got, now, Grandpa? Do yeah. they got dicks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever heard of? Have you ever grandpa, heard of a trap, in Grandpa? You were not Bangkok. What <laughs> yeah. the fuck? They're called they're called traps, Grandpa. <laughs> And they're not gay. And they're straight. <laughs> <laughs> and they're beautiful. Um, no, but like, so he was like, oh, I bet, I bet uh, it's crazy, you know, with you. And I'm like, for, and in my head, I'm like, I'm 240 pounds. Like, nothing about me is crazy when I have sex. That's not in your head, dude. That's dude. <laughs> 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 Got his ass. <laughs> and so, dude, he literally, he's like, he's like, oh, that's cool, it's cool. We wrap up the tab. And I drive him home, and he goes, "Oh, wait right here, wait right here." And he's like stumbling to the door, I'm like, "Okay." And, I'll go. and he's the, like, he's gone for like fifteen minutes, and I'm like, "Like, I think my grandma's like yelling at him, you know." He comes back out, and he goes, "Here you go. Tell me how this works out for you." And he gives me two Viagra pills. Sick. And let me tell you, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> So you're not supposed to take them with high blood pressure, and I don't go to the doctors, but I know for a fact I have high blood pressure. Yeah, I can kind of confirm that. You yeah. Can tell. <laughs> There's a look about you. I'll give you, <laughs> I'll give you an ocular pat down real quick. Yes, you have high blood pressure. So, so I took, I don't took worry, one. I dude, I completely wasted it because I just took it like to take it. Yeah. Like there was no plan to use it. Yeah. <laughs> you were just King. like sitting around. When you said you it's jerked off three to four times hard. a day, I was like, okay, I get it. Well, like I jerked off. I jerked off. But like, well, yeah, you were you don't hard take as a fucking Vi- rock. You don't take a Viagra <laughs> pill to jerk off. Sometimes like, you do if you if you have them laying can around. Can you imagine being that guy? Just I can only come if I've had a Viagra pill? <laughs> yeah. Well, we shouldn't make fun of that guy because that guy's probably cool. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably a real cool guy, dude. <laughs> that guy probably is really fucking cool, and he wouldn't appreciate if you said shit like that. So, the, so what <laughs> I learned here. So what I learned from that is a, if you're under the age of like 45, there's n- don't take it. Or if you can't get hard. No, man, I'm gonna take a dick pill like soon. Well, it's- you can't get hard. Don't. I can tell by your hairline you can't get hard. Oh my <laughs> Shut the god, <laughs> dude, Bodie's on fire tonight. Boom shakalaka, dude. That was hilarious. Thank wow, you, dude. I appreciate it. I wow. can tell by the way you laughed. Yeah. 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 What about another Jim Bean shot? You want another Jim Bean? Like? <laughs> that was a great start, by the way. Like? Thank you. I, was I, do, I do love the idea of a grandpa giving their grandson Viagra. <laughs> yeah, did it rock. Go get it. Go get pussy. <laughs> <That's how it's laughs> Why does he sound like the ghost of Ebenezer Scrooge? That's not Ebenezer what he sounds like. Ebenezer Scrooge doesn't have a ghost. He was alive in the story. Oh, He's the main wait. character. Come on. Fucking retard. There are three ghosts in the story, and he was not one of them. God damn it. You never watched the fucking Muppets uh, story of Christmas? No. You fucking with me? <laughs> no. You fucking fucking with me? I've actually that, never wait, wait, seen wait, wait, that either. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the one you where Gonzo is like the main character? Who's who's supposed to be Ebenezer in the? In no, the... Ebenezer is his own character in the movie. He is he's his own Muppet. He's not wait, one of the known Muppets. Sesame. Wait, is Gonzo the Muppets or Sesame Street? No, Gon- Gonzo's, Gonzo's the, Muppets the Muppets because he's the main character of Muppets in Space, where you find out that Gonzo is an alien. How many Muppets movies are there? Uh, there's the original Muppets movie. There's uh, Muppets. Tr- uh, uh, Treasure Island, I think it's called. Yes, the Pirates with one. Uh, Tim Curry. Yeah, that was the one that um, Jim. Hen- that was Jim Henson's last one, I think. Um, and was then that there was right before he died. No, but he gave his son uh, the reins to the movies. So and he made Muppets in Space, which kicks ass. 
Um, Jim Henson's son, although he has tarnished the name of the Henson Company because he made that. What's that movie with the fucking cops? You remember that with one that cops. came out like two years ago? Happy Time Murders. Oh. Wait, that was him? Yeah, that was Jim Henson's son. Is that with Patton Oswald as like the unicorn little thing? I do not know if Patton Oswald is. No, 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 no. That's, in, uh, that's, that's bad a movie, show. So that makes sense. Oh. That's um, a show. I don't remember what it's oh, called. Oh, that's Happy. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, Happy. Happy. No, Happy Time Murders is the one where the puppet's a detective with Melissa McCarthy because everything oh, Melissa McCarthy Oh, yeah. Is fucking I really hate funny. Melissa McCarthy, dude. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Except for Bride what is, Pound it and drowned it. So what is so what is your <laughs> final answer on how many? I have the answer. How many Muppet movies do you think there are? I'm going to guess a conservative eight. Eight? Six. Six? There are 13. Oh. I was actually going to guess 12. So, so uh, <laughs> that was very Sigma of you to give yeah. me the <laughs> um, I was, I was lowballing. You know, I was about to guess 13. I'm so. still going to say Jeopardy rules. I fucking beat Biz. So <laughs> yeah, you did absolutely beat Biz. Wait, are you credited as Robert or Biz on the podcast? Robert. Robert. That's a fucking Have you not move. heard the intro? You know how fucking... I don't watch your fucking podcast. Yeah, why would you listen to this, <laughs> dude? Sorry, that was very dismissive. It's okay, do you want to hear I it? I do. No, I don't want to hear okay. it. Okay. Thank you, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you want to hear the intro an hour into the fucking podcast? <laughs> fine. Just play it again on double speed right now when you're editing. Okay, fine. I will. Oh, shit. That was good, dude. That was good, right? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I you're like welcome. the way the business name is just edited in. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking with you. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Stupid asshole. Uh, Drinking all my whiskey, giving me shit. Sorry, dude. offered him all the hey. whiskey, you retard. Hey, dude, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm fucking sorry, dude. This is now an ASMR podcast. Yeah. yeah. Pretend I'm whispering in your ear while I fucking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. Sorry to everyone listening, especially mom. Why? How many times are you gonna apologize? She probably forgave you already. She's not gonna forgive me for this. No. One. Does she not? Does she not like that you? Talk like that? Like you uh, I don't talk like that in front of her. Oh, I do. That's a lie. That's a lie. No, genuinely, I don't. I try to be very respectful in front of my parents <laughs> unless I tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. I do that kind of often. Uh, you told me some shit you said around your parents before. I don't remember oh, specifically. Oh, dude, the worst story. You want a very fucking embarrassing story yes. from my childhood, which is yeah, probably pretty tame because I don't have that many embarrassing stories, but... Yeah. Um, oh really? It was uh, so on. I, I used to play on Xbox Live a lot, like uh, most. That's people pretty embarrassing. My age, yeah, it is pretty <laughs> embarrassing. Fuck PS4. Um, <laughs> so I was in a fucking group chat and I talked like I talk now, where I'm fucking vulgar and disgusting and a degenerate. Mm -hmm. And we were making jokes about fucking Pokemon. Obviously not very funny ones because I was 14, but right. I made a joke about how f it would be funny if, um, like. One day, a Charizard was in the tent sleeping with its Pokemon trainer because, like, uh, you know, it was one of the Pokemon that followed you around. It wasn't one that lived in a ball. Right, right, right. And uh, it was beating its shit. <laughs> it was beating its shit and accidentally touched a Firestone while it was beating its shit. Yeah. It was like a Charmeleon, and it turned into a Charizard mid-beat. So, okay. like, the trainer woke up, and he was like, where'd my Charmeleon go, and why is this fucking Charizard bricked up as shit? <laughs> um, and uh, my dad opens my door, yeah. and he goes, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I went, sorry, dad. And he closed the door on me. I was pretty embarrassed, and my mom calls me down for dinner, like, five minutes later, and my mom has this look of disappointment on her face, and I went... Yeah, I'm just not going to talk about this. Fuck it. Have your parents ever caught you jacking off? No. Well, my mom has caught me looking at porn a couple times, but not jerking off. Um, okay. Because usually I, I like to, uh, my, my my secret is I like to get bricked up very hard before I jerk off. Because I like to feel You're like, like sponsored by the capacity. by the term bricked up. Sorry, I think it's just the funniest way to talk about being hard. How, a full mast is pretty good, too, I think. I, I like full mast. Full I'm mast is pretty good. Mast, like a pirate. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, so, so you're bri okay. So you get super bricked up. So he's bricked yeah, up as fuck. Yeah, I get bricked fuck, the fuck dude. up, and then uh, <laughs> once that shit's ready to go, once it's fucking launched, absolutely we're juicing good. with pre cum, dude. Absolutely juicing is a great fucking term. Actually, that's super fucking. <laughs> Yo, how are you right now, bro? I'm, I'm straight up absolutely juicing. Dude. <laughs> I'm fucking juicing right now, bro. My shit milking. <laughs> fucking feet. <laughs> oh my god. My shit leaking, dog. <laughs> Call my Yo, shit somebody call the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> my shit leaking. Somebody call Mario. My pipe's leaking. <laughs> Hello, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Mia. <laughs> Bodie's bricked up. Wait, so yeah, let's hear this. Bodie's yeah, bricked up. That's it. That's all. <laughs> so 
that's all I had to do. Oh, you just so edge all day. You just <laughs> no, 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 no. I just get bricked to full mast, and then I'm, I'm hoping I don't go. bust. I'm bro. not beaten with that shit. Kind of floppy. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking. I need to be like, ouch. You don't have any. Are you a, are you a dry baiter? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm a dry guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. dry guy. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, dude. <laughs> Try guy. <laughs> that's that's uh, actually uh, a fusion shy, from shy, shy bones, guy. shy guy, and dry bones. But Don't instead worry. of their big ass hose nose, they have a big ass hose dick. <laughs> You've never heard the term dry guy. Uh, no. No, it's just what you call when you don't. Yeah, I, th- I find. Oh, the when whole, you shoot blanks. No, when you don't use fucking lotion or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's so, it's dumb. Like, I don't understand. It's like, I'm right here. Like, I have to go get some lotion. And, and then, what, are you going to be the and guy that has... tissues, too? Like, yeah. what's that? You're going to be the weirdo. What, am I going to throw my cum you, in the trash? You went to the yeah. doctors. Gross. Yeah. Imagine if you went to the doctors and they told you you were, uh, 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 what's it called, uh... Couldn't have kids. Okay. Infertile. Uh, infertile, yeah. infertile, right? You couldn't, you couldn't blow Excuse full Excuse me, loads. sir. You're, you're a, you, uh, can't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> your penis don't do the thing that it's supposed to, stupid. Sorry. Your little imagine, pencil dick imagine sucks. Imagine if you're infertile like that, right? Yeah, yeah, and then right, you're right. fucking your chick uh, uh, with no condom because, uh-huh. you know, you're safe or whatever. Yeah, right. And you get her pregnant, right? Uh-huh. You know what I'd call that? What? The Brandon Lee. Uh... <laughs> Nothing, uh, just a groan? All right. I think uh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is that? Brian and Lee? Uh, he uh, played You're the supposed crow. supposed to be he's, shooting blanks. He's uh, Bruce Lee. <laughs> 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 that shit rocked. I wish I would have got that first round, Thank dude. You, God, that, that was really, really good. That was good. off the dome. That's really interesting that you say that, though. So you have to be fully erect before you even start touching. I don't what have are you to. fucking jerk soft? No, I don't fucking like... I have. If it's a really depressing no, night. but you kind of like... <laughs> if you're really just sad. I, um, <laughs> It's never been because I was sad. I've only ever I've, like came like half-mast. Anything less yeah, than that, I'm well, not even beating half, up. But. Half-mast was because like I jerked off four times already that day. So it's like my guy was just like tired, you know? <laughs> but like, no, I mean like you kind of like... I kind of like move it around and stuff like that. You just put it, it before just, your fingers and <laughs> fucking shake it. <laughs> Give it jazz hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like I just jazz hands my cock. I, like I like to do one of these and just fucking... <laughs> yeah, like shake like it around. Shaker? Yeah. yeah, I also match the tempo of like. Are you listening to music when you beat dick? No, like of like like for example, like if hold on, so like for example, if like like the dude's getting like a hand job, like I will match how fast like the the oh, chick's going like while you're watching porn. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like I'm kind of there, but then I, as soon as I see someone with an uncircumcised penis, I'm like, that's not me, dog. <laughs> like I can't do this. <laughs> you should just look up fucking uncircumcised <laughs> porn, a- dude. Yeah, that but is, I feel like that gets really weird, and like the porn's about the fact that he's uncircumcised, and that's gross. Yeah, to she's me. she's like spitting no in offense, his foreskin, dude. Yeah, it's fucking no nasty. No offense, dude. That is the most Jewish thing I've ever heard. Of. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Um, no, they cut foreskins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, you yeah. If yeah you I see don't. You uncircumcised, you get soft. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> uncircumcised dicks make me soft. <laughs> uh, you want to hear my weir- worst uh, masturbatory habit? Absolutely. Or most, uh, I guess, weird. Yeah. So because I watched so much YouTube as a kid, mm-hmm. I would watch YouTube at night. Before I beat off, yeah, and now I have a Pavlovian response where if I have to beat off and I'm watching YouTube, no matter what I'm watching, I'll get bricked up. That's interesting. Yeah, that's really cool, yeah, actually. So I'm just watching like fucking, uh, uh, fucking <laughs> PewDiePie or Super Mega or some shit, and then I'm just hard as fuck, and I'm like, I'm sorry, every man. Time, I'm not getting hard to your face, but every, like every time you hear, every time you hear PewDiePie go, my high, you fucking just get rock solid, dude. That's cool. <laughs> it's a Pavlov. <laughs> Pavlovian. I got a Pavlovian bone if you catch my drift. Dude, what a cool band name. <laughs> You're a Pavlovian bone. Do you want to talk about uh do you want to talk about Black Widow first or do you want to read the email first? Uh let's let's uh, Let's do Black Widow because I don't know shit about it. Yeah, I don't either. I so you're gonna out. explain to me some stuff, and I'm gonna talk some shit. So okay. I'm gonna go figure something out, and it's oh, gonna yeah. be good. Are you gonna go to the bathroom? All right, here we're gonna take a quick. And now more of the basement dweller. Yeah. Is that Joe Swanson? No. Oh. Yeah. I paid a guy in Fiverr to do that. Was it Joe Swanson? No, it wasn't Joe Swanson. Oh. Peter. It... <laughs> Are you that drunk? Did you guys start doing impersonations right now? No. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> What Peter, are we talking about? Peter, oh. I'm the tick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Um, no, I was. Thank you, though. I was. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I watched uh, Black Widow. Cool. And my first real, so for reals impression is the fact that it doesn't feel like a Marvel movie. Okay. 
Like and not, nobody has superpowers. Uh, not true. So they have uh, what's his name? Like the red side. It's like the Russian version of Captain America. Yeah, he was uh, introduced in the '60s as a uh, during the uh, Cold War. Yeah. All of the Avengers had a uh, Soviet uh, counterparts, and he was the counterpart for um, uh, for Captain America. That's a little comic book lore for you. Really, they all had. Yeah, the Hulk had Abomination, which was the Soviet guy. Uh, Spider Man had Chameleon, which was a uh, Soviet uh, spy. Tony um, Stark. Uh, Tony Stark, I don't remember his name, but Tony Stark had one, uh, um, and, uh, I don't think Thor had one, because I don't think Thor at that time was- <laughs> A big... communist god of Asgard? Yeah, dude, he was, uh, <laughs> I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> so, it <laughs> was, Look, dude, uh, I can't hit all the time, Chill. You know, it was kind of, it wasn't the fact that it was boring or anything like that, it actually really wasn't. Um, it just felt like a Jason Bourne movie instead of, like, a Marvel movie. Did like, it have girl boss energy? <laughs> oh man! Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> had girl yes, boss. Dude. There's, there is so. From my knowledge, there is th- three men in this entire movie. That's good. Um, one is I'm definitely zero. like Scarlet. We're well, not Scarlet, but one is the definitely like of a Scarjo. <laughs> <laughs> dude, do you know how hard I am now? Yeah. Um, one of them is like Scarjo's like pushover guy. Um, the other guy is like the communist um, Captain America, and he's mm-hmm. like a dickhead the entire movie. And then mm-hmm. you have like the main boss guy who's an asshole, you know. Mm-hmm. So there's no like, n- like like every dude in here is either like an asshole or just like a a bootlicker for girl bosses. Yeah, and a simp. Which is you know like the whole like joke about that is that like, kind of really played out. But my biggest, it's like, I mean they 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 try to like tackle issues kind of like like because there's like a bunch of Black Widows. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess I should say like spoiler alert at the hour mark, and then I guess we can. No, that sucks, dude. This is a stupid movie. If somebody cares about this, they probably don't listen to this podcast. Well, we won't stupid. be talking about you it. You should for long. still uh, spoiler it and then just edit in when you fucking jump out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably yeah I'll probably do spoiler that. Spoiler alert: the movie yeah. fucking blows. Yeah, zero out of ten. It actually wasn't a zero out of ten. It's cool no. fight scenes. Um, but the biggest reason to watch this movie for me, at least, was Taskmaster. That's crazy because yeah. I heard, actually heard the worst thing about this movie is Taskmaster. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Why is that? So the reason is because they absolutely X Men Origins his ass, and yeah. changed him completely. In fact, yeah. they changed him. Into oh, I know. Oh, I know. A girl boss. Yes, uh, a girl, girl boss. Girl boss dude. Taskmaster. Dude, when she took off that helmet. Like, Allie was so afraid that I was about to get fucking sexist that she, like, <laughs> looked at me like, are you okay? And Allie, I was like, put your earbuds on. I'm about to get <laughs> really <laughs> Yeah, sexist. dude, Oops. I'm about to be mad right now. I wasn't that mad, but I was just like. Ugh. Well, you want to know the funniest thing about that? Huh. You know, the stunt double for Taskmaster was a dude. Yeah. Because. That's the only gender that can handle the stunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ScarJo's stunt double is actually a dude, too. Yeah, he tucks his sack back. <laughs> no, but, like, here's the thing, and I want to make this very clear. I didn't hate it mm-hmm. but that scene i was like what the fuck bro you know what i mean like i'm gonna keep it real i'm a marvel i'm not a marvel guy so mm-hmm. i i do fuck with some of the stuff that they do and uh for a lot of superhero movies they are better than a lot of other ones yeah but i think marvel's just fucking drawn out and boring at this point yeah well so they started doing loki and we talked about it on the podcast and now they so like they're doing like the whole thing with that was like the multiverse thing yeah and i think that that was their way of just saying like hey guys your kids 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 will like we're gonna keep releasing content forever Mm -hmm. like i said one of the one of the lamest things i realized is that i'm going to miss marvel movies in the future because i'll be dead and i'll never get to watch them yeah like you know so like again this movie wasn't a bad movie. My whole thing was that there was a bunch of boss ladies in there already, and mm-hmm. Taskmaster is a notorious fucking... He's not, like, up there, up there, mm-hmm. but he's still, like, he's the fucking Taskmaster. He's a badass. He is. He's and gone so, toe-to-toe with the entire Avengers before. So and they he's, made he's it... kicked the shit out right, of him. Right, so. and, and they, so they made the Taskmaster in this movie, like, it's a chick because it's, like, a revenge story. Mm-hmm. Um, so Natasha, Black Widow, mm-hmm. um, tries to assassinate, like, the main boss that, like, makes the Black Widows because they're, like, sleeper agents. That's yeah. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, she pretty much fucking, like, like bombs the building and, like, carries the bomb in on, like, the boss's daughter's backpack mm-hmm. and blows it up. Somehow she survives this, and her whole vendetta is that, like, fuck Scarlett Johansson because she turned me in. She's all, like, fucking half-face burned. Um, what the fuck? Scarlett Johansson's face gets no, burned No, the chick, the Taskmaster. <laughs> like, oh. like, so, like, the chick that she thought she She turns she into Harvey Dent. Yeah, essentially. Okay. She's like, Rachel! Like, you know, like, <laughs> Rachel! Um, but it, I, I, if you were to take Marvel out of it... I'm a dog chasing cars. <laughs> Hi. 
high. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? A mediocre Marvel movie. You're going to love me. I love when they have a bit of fight in the <laughs> That's racist. I'm not saying that they're all bad, but I'm just saying that if I see one, I'm scared. <laughs> There's so many jobs. Why don't they just get a job? <laughs> Why do they gotta take the ones in America, Batman? Why can't they just keep them in Mexico? <laughs> and everyone goes crazy. These are not my views. These, These are yeah. Heath Ledger's jokers. These are the and you know what? I was gonna say rest in peace, Heath Ledger, but apparently he was racist. So was he racist? Uh, we, well, we just found that out. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I fuck Jake Gyllenhaal in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, Batman? He can't stand the sight of me. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm always smiling. <laughs> We're like crossing genres here. I'm trying to talk about Black Widow. <laughs> Sorry, dude. If Marvel is excluded from the movie, I would say it is a like six out of ten like dad butt rock action movie. Mm -hmm. Like the re same reason why like dads watch Equalizer or like Taken Five. I never watched Equalizer. It's pretty cool actually. Mm -hmm. Um, isn't that Denzel Washington? Yeah, yeah that's the one yeah. that always comes up when they do the ads for Showtime, where he fucking beats the hell out of those rich white guys who are yeah. doing coke. Uh, yeah, because yeah, 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 they like yeah, yeah, yeah. they like. Like messed around with like a, a woman. Yeah, yeah. they they <laughs> fucked up some bitch, and Three he's like beats um, up the cast of fucking Come Town in that show. <laughs> <time>. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you just hear stop in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't a bad movie. Um, it was just like that scene. I was like, that's fucking sucks. And you know what I really want to talk about here because I so. think it's a lame. So what's the one thing that everyone looks at? in Marvel movies is the end credit scenes. Like, okay, what's coming the up? Stinger. The end yeah. credit scenes. Yeah. Like the after, whatever, like the stingers. Yeah. And so it shows like, uh, so that, so this movie happens right after civil war. Yeah. Um, and so like the end credits is like, uh, her sister goes to visit Natasha's grave. You mm -hmm. kind of forget that she died in infinity war. So yeah. I'm like, so well, that's a happy ending at least. Yeah. So she, but, but then like an agent of shield who's played by what's the chick. <laughs> oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the chick's name from uh, Seinfeld? Uh, Elaine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the actress's Elaine. name? Elaine. I'm Joe Swanson again. <laughs> hey, Elaine. Hey, Elaine. I'm in this movie now. Hey, go go talk to the soup guy. Hey, Elaine. That's the Joker. I fucked, <laughs> I fucked Jake Gyllenhaal on his ass. <laughs> he was a fiend. He was a fiend. <laughs> Elaine, I think the Joker's gay. <laughs> You fuck Jake Jill in his ass and no one cares. <laughs> you fuck David Harbour in his ass and everyone loses their minds. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Bony. <laughs> Trying to fucking finish my rant here on Sorry, this movie. Dude. So they end the movie and it's like uh, the chick, Elaine, mm -hmm. uh, is in the movie. <laughs> Not really? as like Elaine. But like, it's. <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Dude, that's what you need. You need Seinfeld theme. The that shit been but she's like, oh, uh, do you want to get revenge for your sister's death? Because no one knows how she died except mm -hmm. for Hawkeye and the Avengers. Yeah. And Elaine. Like, this is wow. the guy. Who Shouts out to Hawkeye for being excluded from the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Hawkeye and the Avengers. Yeah. Not that dipshit. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he's like, she's like, do you want revenge on your on your sister's killer? And it shows a picture of Bart or Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. And when I'm just like, that's how the movie ends. So it's like, I don't want to see Black Widow's sister versus fucking Hawkeye. They're setting up so comic, uh, comic lore coming in, boys. Uh, they're setting up the Thunderbolts. So oh. essentially, the Thunderbolts is Marvel's version of Suicide Squad. Oh, okay. Um, it's set up by Ross Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't remember fucking his last name. What um, a cool! No, I thought that was his last name. No, Ross I, Thunderbolt. I, I think it's either a nickname or a middle name. I don't fucking remember. Dude. It's Red Hulk. It's the guy who who hates Hulk. Who okay. uh, Hulk's banging his daughter or whatever. Sure. Nice. Uh, in the first <laughs> Chad. Movie. Yeah. King he Hulk. becomes Red Hulk. Yeah. Uh, and Red Hulk, by the way, if you guys don't know this, funniest fucking thing in 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 comics. It, one of the funniest things. Um. Red Hulk, right? So Hulk gets stronger the angrier he gets, right? If you had to guess what Red Hulk's power is, where he gets angrier, what does he do? He gets horny. Happy. He gets... What the... F what are you guys, <laughs> retarded? <laughs> gets, those are emotions, not superpowers. Hungry. Oh, he gets... <laughs> Still an emotion. Super Name fast. No. That would be pretty cool. Uh, he gets hotter. Oh, sweet. He starts heating up. He gets oh. hotter. 
That's, that rocks. It's not very good. He gets uh, really <laughs> sexy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he he's hot. On, no, that's She-Hulk. Um, yeah, dude, that's what I can't wait for. For real, dude. Yeah, dead ass. Can't um, wait for She-Hulk. So he starts a team that's basically the Suicide Squad for Marvel. He starts a team of villains or anti-heroes that goes out and solves fucking crimes that the fucking Avengers aren't going to do. He puts together a team. Like, like the Hardy Boys? In the newest one, or in the, in the newer versions, it's like... Um, uh, Red Hulk, him, uh, Deadpool, Agent Venom, fucking, uh, oh, who's that fucking dipshit from the fucking first Hulk movie? You remember when he, Edward Norton's getting fucking treated on and the yeah. dipshit gets the fucking serum in his thing and his head gets all big? It's yeah. like Mastermind or some dipshit fucking. <laughs> yeah. them. It's a, it's just a suicide squad. Nick Nolte? McNulty? Nick Nolte, isn't it? What? Uh. <laughs> 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 um, no, I, I don't fucking know. I, don't, I haven't watched the fucking Hulk movie in 10 goddamn years because that shit kind of sucks. Like the Except original one, right? Yeah. No, no, not the Ang Lee Hulk. Uh, the uh, Edward Norton one. Edward Norton one rocks, yeah. dude. Where uh, the only cool part for me is, well, there's two cool parts. One, where he kicks that fucking dipshit into the tree. Yeah. He has the super serum soldier, or super soldier serum, and he kicks him into the tree because the guy's like, oh, I'm going to fuck up the Hulk, and then just gets absolutely annihilated. Yeah. And then he becomes the Annihilation. See what I did there? Or right. Abomination. Oh. Fuck. Oh, uh, wow. I fucked up my joke. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Good uh, one, landing. dude. Um, the second one is where he's fucking up Abomination, and then he grabs one of Abomination's spines. Oh, like, yeah. And, and rips fucking, it out oh. and then stabs him in the chest like six yeah. times with him. Yeah. That's like some fucking prison shit. That yeah, shit rocks, dude. Gross. That was a cholo move. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... Cholo's in prison. Bill Cosby just got released. Shouts out to a real one. Yeah. Dudes rock. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you can draw any conclusion from this, it's a dudes rock. Yeah. Well, so here's my take on it, right? <laughs> they had uh, given him a plea, or uh, not a plea deal. Or uh, yeah, it is a plea deal. They had said, hey, if you um, admit you did this, right, mm-hmm. to this one woman when it was the first going on. We're not going to put you in jail because you're old as fuck. We're yeah. just going to settle out of court for it, whatever. Mm-hmm. So he admitted to it. And then afterwards, the other legal team pulled back on it and had added a bunch of other cases to it. So he essentially got sent to prison after he had taken a plea deal, which is completely illegal. That's why he got out for it. Yeah. So Bill Cosby is still a huge fucking piece of shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Scumbag. Yeah. However... What happened happened because the legal team didn't do their fucking job. Mm. Like, those other lawyers are fucking scumbags. Now, to no one's fucking surprise, lawyers are scumbags all the goddamn time. Yeah. But, uh... My father was a lawyer, Batman. My father was a lawyer. <laughs> Is that the theme of this episode? Heath Ledger. <laughs> Heath Wait, Ledger Joker? that's me. My father was a gay lawyer, Batman. <laughs> Instead of a plea deal, this is deal, the dumbest he took a podcast deal. ever, dude. The fact he that fifty-five people watch <laughs> <laughs> it stands for penis, Batman. He made a pee pee poo poo deal, Batman. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, this is fucking nothing. <laughs> it's not so even funny. <laughs> We're trying so hard. I'm not trying. So how long was he in prison for? I don't fucking know. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was in prison? Me, Bill Cosby. Oh yeah, um, he wasn't. Did you, no, he was in prison. For did a you ever bit. see? You saw that? I know you saw that video of him get after, after as soon as he got like his sentencing, and he was like going to jail, and he did the Fat Albert impersonation. That's so funny. <laughs> did you never see it? I did see it. It's uh, so have you funny. seen it? Oh that. my god, dude! Are you fucking? It's so the, fucking funny, the most dude. based fucking. Like he doubled down so hard. Yeah, you need an ox for the show. Any what? An ox. You have an ox port right there. I have Bluetooth. Oh, you can Bluetooth to it. Come on, dog! I spend money on this podcast. That's Why does <laughs> yeah? Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, pretty much. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so so Bill Cosby yells out, "Fat Alberts, hey, hey, hey!" As he departs from court, hey, hey, hey. second day. Oh, that was Yogi Bear. What the fuck? Is hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. I raped a woman. <laughs> hey, boo boo. I gave her a drink and it made her feel funny. Hey, boo boo. Black people love me. <laughs> Bodie, you're going to get me canceled. No, I'm just saying things about Bill Cosby that are true. He raped a woman he and did. black people love him. Yeah. That has nothing to do with each he other. Was They're like, completely separate ideas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Prima Dia, you know what I mean? Like Prima Nocta? Yeah. 
No. Pre Medea with the like Medea, like like fucking Tyler Perry. Yeah. Oh, pre Medea, not prima. No. <laughs> okay, so he literally just got sentenced to prison after how many accounts was it? Fucking hundreds of. Fucking I don't think it was hundreds, but it was a, a lot. lot. It, yeah. was it was a thousand lot. counts of rape. <laughs> this is him leaving the court. Seven point six billion. <laughs> That is the most base shit. <laughs> yeah, I like how he wasn't even looking at anybody. Well, it's he's fucking blind. Yeah. <laughs> no, he faked that. Remember? Yeah, no, he, he can he, see he his, his perfect eyes. vision. He has fucking, no, he, no, there he was has a whole thing vision. that he pretended to essentially be all fucked up. So. Oh, like Harvey Weinstein did. Yeah, like with the wheelchair, kind yeah. of. But like, you know, his sight. Like, And he would just be like, I, I can't see. I can't. I can't do a Bill Cosby. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck Bill Cosby is. Rudy, I can't oh, fucking I, I can't see. I've been, oh, I can't fucking see. I've been doing <laughs> sexual assaults. <laughs> Put Bob's goes in the Gucci. By the way, I want to point out, I do not agree with anything Bill Cosby did. Zero percent, yeah. I'm making no. fun of him, not the victims. These victims, whether they're not telling the truth or not, I don't know. I'm not accusing <laughs> them. <laughs> Bodie's really good at making addendums on live on the podcast. I know Bodie and Bodie Company have no affiliation truth. to the... To the thoughts of Bill Cosby and how we feel about him personally. What about instead of addendum, it was bellendum, and the victim <laughs> sucked my cock. <laughs> <laughs> bellendum, okay. hardly hey, newer. Hey, Bodie, I gotta run something by you real quick. Yeah, I was okay. thinking about thinking about this this morning, cool. like, because uh, like I don't, I don't really believe in God, but like I was thinking about what if God, what if God, when he was making people, you know, he was just making like clay figures, right? So he had a dude, and he was like, how am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, the other. The other one looked like. Yeah. And he just picked up the dude doll, right? And he just lopped off the penis. Mm-hmm. And then he grabbed he grabbed the nuts and he was like, ha, 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 uh, balls on their chest. <laughs> and then he put fucking, <laughs> he just made the balls a little bigger and shoved them on the chest. I and thought then, you were going to say he just shoved them inside. Like he just nah. put his thumb and started pushing them up. Because that's kind of what a fucking no, nurse no, is. No, no, no. But then he, to make the badge, he just kind of, ha, and just put it like shoved his finger like right in it. I like the way he used it. his tongue. <laughs> Just squishes the head of one of them. Uh oh, retarded. <laughs> you a fucking retard or what? <laughs> this has been probably the most offensive episode that we've done, Bodie. Yeah, I kind of figured yeah. that with me coming on, that was how it was going to uh, go. Oh, we're here for good fun. Yeah, I'm here to hurt people's feelings, actually. I mean what I say. <laughs> yeah, um, retarded, absolutely. Um, that's a, one of my favorite words. Yeah, it's a good word. Um, cunt's a good one. I don't like that one. You don't like cunt? I, you know, one I had of my a, favorites. I had a step. I had. I have a stepmom who really yeah, like put, who really instilled in me that that was just like the worst word of all time, mm-hmm. and like you never call a lady that, and, and and like not like she like told me every day like remember don't call someone a cunt, like you know, but like I don't know why <laughs> so like your that. P's and Q's don't call me a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. Like, I, I don't know why like it stuck with me, but like I just don't like saying it. I understand. It makes that kind of makes you a pussy though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Jacob, what if you meet a woman and she's being a cunt? Yeah, <laughs> you just want to really. And then you go, what are you gonna say? Like ah, cunt. you bitch. Yeah. Would you call a mannequin? No. What if he was black? <laughs> Why would that matter? I don't know. Oh, well, just what if? Well, what else would yeah. you call him? If you're not going to call him it's a It's like cunt. I need a substitute for saying a racial slur. I just need to call him a cunt. No, like, is I that don't need mean? a substitute. I don't know why you brought that up. <laughs> I, not that I would call him one. Fuck. Maybe I'd dig my own grave. Yeah, you just dug your own grave there. The point is, is I don't like saying it. That's Odie good. would definitely call people racial slurs. No, I would not. I wouldn't call a person a racial slur. <laughs> 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 I'll leave that one up to the imagination. Okay. <laughs> I just uh, how no. much of this is getting cut out? All of it? No. Oh, None cool. of it. I'll no. get canceled then. If we were to if we were to cut out, we'd probably have like a good solid seventeen minutes if we cut a bunch of this shit out. So <laughs> it don't matter. I mean, honestly, so the way that I so in all seriousness, the way that I looked at this is like I told you, this is my weekly vent from like work, mm-hmm. and work has been so shitty recently that mm-hmm. um, it's the first time in literally three oh, years where you I've gotta consi- work for a living. <laughs> See, I can't even. You gotta, work, <laughs> you gotta work forty hours a week. You invited this goblin on. I you don't know. Know. <laughs> I'm trying to be sincere and like. <laughs> point is, is that it's that uh, this is just somewhere where I feel like I have literally no. Oh, there's the Discord. Fucked up. No, that's not. Is gonna... that your kitten? No, it's my Warhammer <laughs> kittens. <laughs> my Warhammer kittens. Daddy's yeah. working. Kitten. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is where I can literally just feel like where I have no restrictions. Okay. You know what I mean? Where I can literally just say whatever I want. Yeah. Because 
talking like this is fucking funny to me. And mm-hmm. I think that this is why, like, I, I resonate to two podcasts. Like, biggest example is Come Town, mm-hmm. where they're literally just three fucking idiots that just say the dumbest shit. Like, the, the, like, for me personally, the Heath Ledger thing we did for a good fucking 10 minutes was the best part of my day. Yeah. I, I don't know if, if people will agree who listened to it. No, nobody's going to listen to this. And no. After about 15 minutes, they're going to hear me doing the Japanese voice, and they're going to be like, this shit sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is fucking awful, Yeah, bro. dude, the so at this? the end of the day, who uh, really fucking cares? I mean, like... Yeah, it, I don't it, really care. If it cancels me and ruins my life, I'll just fucking It's not going to cancel you. Nobody's ever going to cancel you, dude. We're not big enough to be canceling anybody. Yeah. I will be canceled, because I am going to be big... Um, <laughs> you're you know already I, big. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 got my ass. <laughs> He's a big man, Batman. He's a big fat retard. <laughs> Batman. No one likes do? looking at the fat retard, Batman. <laughs> Everyone laughs behind his back, but no one laughs at his face. <laughs> I'm just ahead of the curve. You want to know why I'm such a fat retard, <laughs> Batman? It's not about money. It's about a, making a message. I didn't take Brokeback Mountain for a movie, <laughs> Batman. I just wanted to fuck Jake Gyllenhaal in his ass. <laughs> it's like that. I want to save that for my personal archive because that makes me happy. Do you too. like to think about Jake Gyllenhaal getting fucked in his ass? I've never yes. seen that movie. That's a good movie. Never seen Brokeback Mountain. Movie. Honestly, the only movie I can earnestly tell you that I remember Jake Gyllenhaal in is the Zodiac Killer movie and as Mysterio. What about Nightcrawler, dude? Nightcrawler never saw kicks it. fucking ass. Never that saw movie Nightcrawler. Rocked, what about the Prince of Persian dude. movie. Never saw it. I didn't Donnie see Darko either. sucks. Never saw it. Good. Don't watch it. Donnie Darko's awful. You should definitely watch Nightcrawler, though. You know yeah. who loves Donnie Darko is Aaron Women. and Melissa. Probably. They were like, they would always tell me about how much that movie rocks, and I never saw it. Yeah, no, that shit sucks. Fuck that yeah. shit. There was a point that I was getting to, other than being all touchy feely about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, dude, this just rocks. Like, like, like you said on the break, like, I love listening to myself. I've never had that issue. Didn't need to expose me, but I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I mean, because, but for real, like I, t- like I told you when we came back, where it's like, it's fun to just sit here and listen to your voice, perso- like, like loud, yeah. you know? And um, I've never had the issue of stage fright. I mean, like I played, I was in a band. I, I You know, I did like the talent show shit. Like mm-hmm. never, never had a problem with public speaking. So like when I get to do this, and even if like, like my, my two biggest, my three biggest fans that I will tell you right now is my buddy Kevin from California. Mm-hmm. Fucking awesome. Camacho. Yeah, Camacho's the boy. Shout and out to you, Cruz. Bro. Those three dudes listen to my podcast. Uh, uh, no, uh, Kayla. Oh, stupid. <laughs> Making a joke while I'm shouting out my three super fans. Cruz. <laughs> my buddy Cruz. My brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, his brother-in-law. Sorry. That's okay. No, you're fine. So. Why are you Do you want to read the email? Sure. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do that, dude. Let's get it. Let's go, 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 get it, dude. Should I drink this? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, drink it, man. It was uh, a few episodes ago, me and Jacob spent a good 15 minutes talking about uh, poop. our poops. Yeah. yeah. And I told them to send an email about their poops. I think poops. I got fucking Crohn's disease, speaking of poop. Dude, I think <laughs> I also might have Crohn's disease. You can be Crohn's twins? Yeah. <laughs> the Crohn's Cronies, twins. dude. Cro- Crohn's, Crohn's crew. Crohn's crew. We have debilitating diseases. We're going to die in a hospital probably. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to shit myself to death. Whoa. <laughs> hey, yo. So we talked about, our, oh, we talked about, uh, about uh, poops Bodies on the podcast. absolutely twisted. <laughs> Brought to you by Twisted Tea. I'm twisting. <laughs> this Twisted Tea is I'm fucking delicious, twisted Batman. Twisted Batman. If there's one thing that I like, Batman, it's Fudinari pornography. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand, lolly porn. <laughs> <laughs> On the other, dick and ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done with the with the Heath Ledger. It's email time. Okay. I'm really excited for this. I'm glad. Let me read it. It actually. Do you have a good reading voice? Let me hear it. You know, this is the first oh, thing it says. You've been hearing me talk for years, dude. So th- I have a beautiful voice. You actually can absolutely read it because I'm just in here. The top line says, "This one, this one's for Robert." Okay, oh, nice. So I'll let you read it. You should um, let me read it. Fuck him. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> yeah. it's a it's a long one. Oh um, my! Got it. I believe it. Oh um, wow! Also, we got a real uh, story. So this comes to us from a fan, and it uh, he specifically asked to remain anonymous. Oh, so. it's one of those stories, huh? Yeah. So well, shouts out to you, anonymous guy, dude. You rock. I actually go way back with this guy, and he's amazing. So yeah, I'm not so anonymous now. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robert. All right. <laughs> it's me. All right. <clears throat> All right, yo, so I just listened to episode 11, heard the poop talk, and have an opinion slash story that's horrifying but kind of funny, I guess. Give it more oomph. Wow, okay. 
I now work as a field mechanic that maintains forklifts and other heavy equipment. Mm -hmm. I have a company vehicle that has all of my tools, forklift parts, and everything else in it. At the time, I had a big Ford van. It was about eight feet tall, tall enough that I could stand straight up uh, in the cargo area of the van. I am normally of the same opinion as Jacob. I absolutely despise public bathrooms, but unlike Jacob, when I have to shit, I've got to shit. There is no ignoring it for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. See, like, how do you just same. tell yourself not to dump? I'm usually pretty good about planning bathroom stops and have a list of bathrooms that I'm usually okay with. This day I screwed up. I'm at a customer location working on an electric forklift truck. I have the unit outside parked next to my van, and I'm doing my thing. <laughs> I can feel the need to shit start creeping up on me. This is a customer we just started working for, so I'm not familiar with their warehouse layout and do not know where their bathrooms are. I'm terrified to ask because I don't want them to know I took a shit, so I try to hold it off till I'm finished so I can go to a gas station down the street. I finished what I was doing on the lift and was standing in the back of my van putting my tools away and filling out paperwork, and it got worse. The need when it first hit me was DEFCON 4. This was DEFCON 1. Nuclear war imminent. <laughs> I needed to get to a bathroom right then. The feeling was so strong I was paralyzed with fear and could not move. It happened. I slammed shut the door of my van so no one would see. Luckily, I had a five-gallon bucket <laughs> and shop paper towels. When all was said and done, absolutely horrified, I jumped into the driver's seat of my van and left. <laughs> called the customer, told them I wasn't feeling good, that their <laughs> forklift was outside and ready to use, that I'd close the paperwork out without their signature. <laughs> called my manager, told them that I was going home and left. I never went back to that customer as the company I worked for went out of business shortly after. <laughs> <laughs> the situation changed my life. Now I absolutely have no fear of public <laughs> bathrooms. That's not what I was expecting. This is a growth. And I'm no longer ashamed to ask where the bathrooms are. <laughs> <laughs> My opinion of public bathrooms has changed, and the sad part is I know for a fact most grown men that work in the trades, construction, welding, field service work, have a story like this, where they shit their pants or almost shit their pants. Thank you for feeding or for reading the most traumatic day of my life. Hope that neither of you run into a situation like this. Okay. Oh, wow. That Jesus was crazy. Christ, dude. Let me just say, I did not expect that ending. Yeah, I thought no. that was like, I don't, I only shit in my toilet only. No, that's a gross scenario. <laughs> and that's what I think everyone should take away from that story is that if you, if you really want to grow as a person, absolutely fucking humiliate yourself. Just make yourself the worst piece of shit on earth. Really? Like, go home feeling, cry yourself to fucking sleep one night. I guarantee you everything after that's going to feel great. Just go walk into Fry's with a <laughs> five-gallon Home Depot bucket. Shit in that. Oh, no. Who's calling? <gasps> Let's hear it. Who's? You're hey, on. Hello? Hello? Can you, you hear me? Shit? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, hey. now hang up on him. Hey, it. Uh, it's uh, you're on the podcast right now. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, uh, hey, hey, can I ask you a question? No. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Hey, how do you feel about uh, public shitting? This question again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did we ask him Why this? Why do you ask everyone this? Yeah, well, because we're still talking about it. We just read an, uh, uh, a fan email about it. Hell yeah, dude, that's generous. Public shitting. Um, it's Christian, I mean, by the way, everyone who's... It's Christian. Oh, it's his email? I mean... No. Uh, it's Christian. <laughs> I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll say this. Hi, guys. I'll say this. Uh, our My last big fight in my last relationship before we actually broke up started with me not wanting to shit in the Walmart. <laughs> Can you talk about it? Sounds like you caused a breakup, Christian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I got to. So you probably don't know me, Christian, but I got to I got to ask you a question real quick. What's up? Um. Are you okay with me calling this woman a bitch? Because <laughs> uh, if she broke up with you because you didn't want to shit in public, that seems oh, like no. a real. Uh, that no, seems like a really ride or die. Oh, she really she, oh, fucks she, with the public bathrooms. She he broke up with her. Oh, go <laughs> off, King. You know what? <laughs> Shouts out to a Sigma male. <laughs> <laughs> Refuses to shit in public. Breaks up with girlfriend. Leaves. leaves. That's, that's not why we broke up, but like I just remember that being like a with the pussy trash. 
<laughs> like, don't you ever try to force me to shit in Walmart ever again, bitch. What happened? That's my question, though. Was the pussy trash? I, I, I'm I not obligated to say there's nothing for okay. You're actually okay. obligated. You're under contract. You have well, to answer to that. Fair, we don't know her name. Nobody knows her name. Oh, so. well, yeah. people who listen definitely oh. know her name. So. Oh, well, then yeah. you know what? Don't tell us if the pussy was trash. Just wink twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, done. <laughs> so, Damn. So, so tell us. So, so why why wouldn't you shit in Walmart? Uh, I just really it was like when COVID had like first started, and mm-hmm. like there was like people walking around in like hazmat suits and stuff, and I was just like not about it. And it, I could tell it was going to be kind of a devastator. And I didn't, you know, Walmart doesn't have doors in their bathrooms, so I was kind of poop shy. Yo, I wait, wait. What? Oh, okay. You mean the front door? I apologize. I thought you meant stall doors. I was like, what kind of fucking prison Walmart you going to? So I have a story about a Walmart bathroom. Oh, wait, I want to hear what Christian called in. Yeah, let him finish. Let him fit. Let him finish. Yeah, he called in to talk about shitting. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> um, no, that, that was that was really it. But like, I was like kind of saying the whole time that I wanted to go take a shit, and she like didn't want to let me go. Or no, I, I said I wanted to leave so I could take a shit, mm-hmm. and she didn't want to do that. And then she thought like I the whole time I was like trying to like lead her out of the store to. Um, like, to rush her out of the store or something, and I wasn't. I was just walking around, staring at shit, like, trying to occupy my mind. Mm-hmm. And then she, like, flipped out, thinking that I was trying to leave. <laughs> and she, like, flipped and called security on me, saying that because I had, I had my son, you know. And then she was like, I want my son. Give me my son. This man. She didn't, like, when, this, when security showed up, she didn't even say, this is the father of my child. She said, <laughs> she said, this man will give me my son. <laughs> Okay, cool. That's fucking nuts, so, dude. God damn. It was insane, but um, but yeah. So like, that's kind of how. That's how it turned into a bigger fight. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing. It's, yeah, that was a great fucking story. Started with me not wanting to poop in Walmart. Well, Godspeed, Emperor. It's Godspeed, what? The Black Emperor. Oh, you Black Emperor. It's a band. You think you're an indie guy? No. You didn't say that? Come on. <laughs> raise your t- raise your tiny antenna to the sky. You, t- you tell me you don't know the name of the band. I don't know. <laughs> I, all right, buddy. We're going to continue. I'm sorry. I can't really talk as we're shooting, but I just wanted right. to hear your sweet, sexy voice. He does have a cute little voice. <laughs> all right, then. Well, you guys have fun. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. So I got a, t- a story about a Walmart bathroom if you want to hear it. It's yeah. a very short story. It doesn't really go anywhere. Yeah. But I just went into a Walmart bathroom one time, and uh, there was not shit on the floor. Because shit on the floor, it's horrifying to our reality. Yeah. That shit on the floor is normal. Yeah. Right? We live in such a dystopia that you could just walk into a bathroom and see a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. But we've accepted that as humans, which is right. nightmarish. Yeah. The fucking shitty part about this, no the pun shit, intended, yeah, the, the, shitty the horrifying part. part about this was that whoever had cleaned it up, the janitor or whatever, didn't actually clean it up. They had taken the mop and swirled it in circles. Oh, God. Oh, no. And there was just oh. a faint... Brown big circle swirled in like I'm gonna like Junji up. Ito's Uzumaki. <laughs> <on the floor. laughs> That's you know, fucking and disgusting. And there was this faint smell of shit. Like if shit had been there two hours ago and was now just like, you know how a, a seltzer tastes like the the idea of a fruit. Yeah. That's what the bathroom smelled like the idea of, <laughs> of shit. <a> shit. <laughs> And the idea of a, a shit from a butt. Like swirl. an artist came in, it was just like, make yes. it feel like shit. Yes, that's what was on the fucking floor. And it was an absolute fucking nightmare. But the bright side of that story? I'm excited. I left. I didn't shit in that bathroom. No. <laughs> yeah, see, you God, couldn't pay me. What the fuck? Who would shit in that shit? If I saw, if I, if I saw that, that would just make my, my phobia worse. You have a phobia of shit? In public. Mm. Oh. That, that's like Dude. what the, that's like what the whole thing was about last like the last couple episodes. Have you ever laughed at somebody farting in a public nope. bathroom? I yes. find it. Yes. That's so like, fucking good. While dude. pooping right yeah. next to them, it's <laughs> dude farting, uh, laughing like, dude, at a so, fart in a public bathroom is the best feeling in the world. Because construction workers will come in and like, dude, every single construction worker has like stage one <laughs> diarrhea, like yeah. just the See, worst. Fucking gas station burritos on yeah. the way to work every so day. So they get in the fucking stall and they're just like. Ugh. And, like, they're screaming in the QT, dude. <laughs> and <it's> <laughs> um, I will side with Jacob on one thing. There is one type of public bathroom that I will not shit in. It's uh, fucking porta potties. Yeah, I know. I am I better than a porta potty. I will shit on the fucking floor <laughs> before I shit in the fucking porta potty. I promise you. When's the last time you pooped your pants as an adult? 
<laughs> oh, you want to hear bad something bad? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. Me neither. It was like two weeks ago. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was a little and longer And it was like, that. I was in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I, I was brushing my teeth, mm-hmm. and I gambled on a fart. Um, and they're not always squirted. winners. They're you were right always, next to the toilet. Yeah, they're not always winners, boys. What do you? If you're brushing your teeth and you think you got a fart, you're gonna pull down your pants and sit on the toilet just in case. Well, if it's dude, yeah. How no, did you it just, gamble? No, how did it just feel like a fart when it you just felt like shit a fart. yourself? Because it wasn't a full load. It was like I painted the wall. <laughs> like a brush stroke. Not the wall of the bathroom like I wasn't wearing pants, but I painted my underwear in a squirt because I yeah. thought it was a fart. It's like if you just took a fine tip brush and just you painted th- the back of his underwear. You think you have Crohn's degree, uh, disease Crohn's you don't degrees. agree with me? Crohn's degrees. Because uh, it's warm in my pants because I shit in them. Because <laughs> I shit and farted. Because I shit and farted in them. You think you have Crohn's disease and you've you've never gambled on a fart like that? I gamble on a fart all the time, but like I don't know. I feel and like it I never ha- comes up black? Well... <laughs> If your shit's black, dude, that's a whole other discussion. It's Crohn's disease. Well, the thing is, I feel like I'm able to tell, like, right before the floodgates open, so I can just pinch it and then be like, all right, Damn, I gotta you're go. hedging your bets. Yeah. You're not a real gambler. <laughs> no. I just no, let it rock. I'm not trying to shit my fucking pit. You I, really just fart every time, for sure. Yeah. I just let it go. You don't test them? No, you don't, I don't test You don't dip your them. toes first? Not if I'm in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Uh, but... but <laughs> This conversation's giving me anxiety. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty I funny. Like, I don't like talking about shit. Okay, shifts. we'll jump off the subject. It's, uh, you know we can talk about? Warhammer. We haven't talked about Warhammer We haven't yet. talked about Warhammer. We talked about it a little bit. No, it's, uh, you know, it stopped me from masturbating. That's <laughs> cool. Um, I, like you, I like reading the books. Um, the books are cool. And learning the lore. But I tell you, man, the most therapeutic anything I've ever experienced is building and painting miniatures. Yeah, I got no artistic talent. That's I don't problem. either. I don't either. Mine look like shit, but they're cool to me. I mean, Do you thin your paints? Barely. That's why yeah. you gotta thin your paints, I dude. Some thick I didn't even paint, and I know that. Yeah, what's whatever. Yeah, it's like the whole thing, like thin your yeah, paints. Dude, how did you not know that? I don't know. I spent so much money on this, dude. Like it's ridiculous how much money I've spent. I've been playing this game for maybe a month. Mm-hmm. It's probably over a thousand dollars. Jesus fuck, dude. Yeah. Dude, when I was in, uh, so I was in Iowa about two months ago for um, this uh, golfing thing I was doing. Yeah. So I went to Nebraska. Uh, uh, just uh, for one day to go visit my dad's friend from when he was young. We smoked some weed, hung out, whatever the fuck. Um, and uh, we went to some game stores because it happened to be on my birthday. So I was like, well, while my dad's friend is working, let's go to some game stores, check shit out, comic stores, whatever. The comic shops there are 85% Warhammer. Oh, wow. I would go into a shop. So imagine Samurai Comics down here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Imagine three times the size and only the back wall is comics. Oh, Everything shit. else is... Warhammer, Warhammer <clears throat> Fantasy, and uh, Pathfinder figures. Oh, wow. For fucking 40 or 50 feet. Oh, that rocks. Organized by um, uh, race, by fucking... Um, size and... Like si- all that, yeah. uh, not by size, but race, but also the individual shit in it. So it would be like the Imperium. Yeah. And then it would have the Space Marine section, and then the uh, Imperial Guard section. Right, and, and like shit. Blood Angels. and Absolutely yeah. fucking insane, dude. It was yeah. so cool. That rocks. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just honestly, like, I, I just encourage everyone, like, tabletop gaming is one of the most, like I said, like, therapeutic just things for me, where all I got to do is roll dice, and it's a strategy, mm-hmm. um, and, like, I wish, I wish I had every faction possible, mm-hmm. so, like, I could let my friends just tailor make whatever makes them happy and just play with me. Like, that's how mm-hmm. much I love it. Like, I've been telling Robert to play, but again, the biggest thing is money. Yeah. You know, this shit's not, ex- it's, it's not cheap. I no, mean, it's not at all. I mean, if you want to enjoy little man, like fucking like thirty minute long battles, yeah, buy a fucking star collecting box. But mm-hmm. if you're trying to play the game, yeah, war style, like yeah, you're looking at about seventy. That's why I'm mostly a lore guy. Yeah. I know a lot about the lore, but I don't yeah, know and that's what's crazy. Whatever. Like a lot of people just read the books, um, but then you have the people who don't even play the game that just paint the minis. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, so it's like it's really like there's so many different like things about this game. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it. You know, I don't it's know. cool. I want Robert to find something like that where it's very therapeutic and it's not just you know weird. Yeah. What do you mean, man? What, what is your hobby? Like, what is your hobby? Uh, it's boomer shooters. Oh, yeah. that's right. We forgot we were gonna roast yeah, this roast fool. Them yeah. At, uh, playing what a video dumb for fucking. fucking yeah, it's all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How's Halo CE treating you, <laughs> fucking idiot? Dude, I spent all day today playing Postal Two, and it was. You haven't even gotten to Halo CE yet. Fucking, when are you gonna start playing Halo CE and talking about how good it is? When I get a fucking PC, dude. You don't need a PC. The game's from fucking two thousand one. You could play that on a fucking uh, 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 laptop, no problem. I don't want to. 
You're a beta male. No. Are you going to buy the Steam Dock? It's 300 bucks. <laughs> I'm, dude, definitely might, gonna buy, yeah. I'm definitely yeah. going to buy it. Rocks, right? I'm just going to pirate fucking sweet. Switch I was games, dude. I'm thinking about buying the $600 one. What's that? What's that? What does that one come with? So it comes with a higher uh, uh, SSD, which is awesome yeah. because it loads faster. It, okay. Um, it has bigger storage. It comes with the full accessories list. It comes with bigger like balls. Yeah, it comes with a bigger <laughs> penis and dick to shove in your ass. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> what the storage is, is the balls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. That's that was okay. pretty good. Okay, so it comes. Okay, so it's just like bigger, like CPU stuff. Like yeah, it's just a better version of it in general. It's it's it seems like a cool purchase. To be fair, it's weird how the internet has changed their view on it because if you look back to like fuck, it must have been like 2015. Yeah, Steam had released their own console for 700 bucks. I remember that the Steam Box or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and everyone on earth laughed at them. Everyone yeah. was like, "What are you fucking stupid? Why yeah, would I buy a dumb. fucking console for 700 dollars when I could just build a PC?" Right, it's fucking idiotic. Then and Nintendo, then they were like, "Nintendo what just if we announced it the new and it's Switch weaker and it's yeah. handheld and it's 700 dollars." And everyone on earth did the the fucking soy wojack. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Nintendo just announced the new Switch and then Steam was like Steam well, Deck. They and didn't even really announce a switch upgrade. Like it's, it's just a, just switch a bigger with, screen. Yeah, it's a bigger screen with oh. Joy Cons that are probably going to still have the fucking still drift. Gonna still going to yeah. break. Yeah. Fuck Nintendo. Nintendo can suck my. Nose. I'm only annoyed because Zelda sucks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm tell about you no. I'm about to buy a Skyward Sword HD, and I've been having a lot of fun playing Skyward Dragon Sword Quest Eleven. Is the worst Zelda. Game. You should fucking kill yourself, you right? fat faggot. The, the bitch. second worst. Uh, wow, well, you just said the F slur. That's not good. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's fine. That's I should have just rolled over it. That would have been professionalism, but instead I'm going to point it out. You could have just gone with it. No. Could have gone with the argument, but now, now you're going to make, make Jacob me look cut like it out. an asshole. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's going to reach um, up and he's, hey, man, with all with all due respect, can you cut out like Robert entirely? Hey, hey, yeah. Actually, he didn't contribute that much anyway. Yeah, so, he like, didn't. So, I mean. <laughs> um, Sorry. I've been talking this entire He's kind of just a pretty time. face at this point. I mean, I, I, mean, I edit. I sh- you know, I, I record. I he's promote. a pretty face? More pretty than mine. What, and Jacob is? Yeah. Oh. Jacob has fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> also, Eloy told me to call you short on the podcast, so there's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Eloy. Uh, yeah. Robert Short. Um, <laughs> Memes. Uh, but I will go back to, because Eloy's going to hate this. This is right in the middle of Eloy's worst fucking my nightmare. Zelda fucking sucks. 3D Zeldas are terrible. Uh, I'll stand yeah, by that I love forever. This. I love this stance. Um, I, I like this stance, Skyward too. Skyward Sword sucks. It's the worst Zelda. The one right behind that is Twilight Princess Fucking sucks, and then it's Wind Waker. Those are the three worst Zelda games, and they're all three D. I completely disagree with you, but I respect the shit out of that stance because two D Zelda is so goddamn. Ocarina good. Ocarina of Time is number four. Ocarina of Time fucking sucks. Everyone just loves it because of nostalgia. That's it. That's true. Ego Raptor. Fuck off. You're right, <laughs> but fuck off. Bodhi I, is I on will the... say, Link to the Past is the second best Zelda game of all time. All right, then I forgive everything you've you know, said the previously. Best one? You know. It's Link Between Worlds. Link Between Worlds is it's the best amazing. Zelda game of all time. Now, I still think it's Link to the Past. I think Link Between Worlds is a perfect sequel, but Link to the Past just scratches that itch for me. I played so only two Legend of Zelda games in my entire life. Good. Just st- stop it at that. <laughs> Count yourself lucky. I played the first one ever, and then I played um, um, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess fucking sucks. Yeah, so um, it's like the I'll, uh, I'll also give you another controversial take. Pokemon sucks. Uh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. At this point, it's, that's it so sucks. Fair. I have uh, it's like past three, Gen three. Like I have Diamond no. Pearl sucks. Yeah, yeah other than Diamond pure, Pearl sucks dick, but Pokemon than, Black rocked. No, nah, fuck black and fuck black too. <laughs> <laughs> white, <laughs> white and white two are all right. <laughs> <You're a real>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fucking around. Those games suck too. Uh, no, nah, anything that's other than pure nostalgia for me, I just it's just irrelevant to me in Pokemon. And I was also never the guy that was like. Like breeding and getting like pokey mm-hmm. rust and, like, and all that yeah, shit. I never like to those people. Fair, I would want to put in trash cans. Like that. At least you're not the guy who says Digimon's better than fucking Pokemon because Digimon yeah. sucks. Digimon, I never watched as a kid either. It's for weebs. I like clinged on to like four things as a child. Like a lot of things that people were just like, oh, I remember this. I'm like, no. Actually, fun fact: um, Ali's mom got me to play Uno for the first time in my life. And I'm You've never played Uno? Never Uno once rocks, in my life. Dude. And I bought Uno cards to practice because I got fucked up. They're up there somewhere. but uh, Practice? It's yeah. just fucking Uno. I it's never played. to fucking... <laughs> nine, bro. I yeah. never played. to zero. Yeah. <laughs> I never played before. So, uh, you know, like stuff like that. Like, I never... Like, so when you talk about, like, Legend of Zelda games and shit like that, I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Yeah, don't worry. You didn't miss out on much. Video games kind of suck. Um, well, I also wasn't really allowed no. to play a lot of, like, video games, like, when I was a kid. Were so, you religious? No. Well, my, pa- my mom was kind of like pseudo like we're like out in public she was but and like at the house she wasn't like it's not like we you know 
like like followed it like mm-hmm. um, I guess you would say religiously. Yeah. Um, but like there were like little things that she would just like see that she didn't like 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 when I had my GameCube, um, the only games I was allowed to play were like Mario titles. Fucking um, Mario Rocks. And uh and like, like EA, EA sports games. All right, Madden. Yeah, so like Madden, or, but but I always I loved like the like the the NFL fucking street. NFL Street, yeah. NBA Street, like SSX Tricky. So anything Wayne that Gretzky's fucking hockey, NHL. Brady? No, uh, see that was too boring. If you had like a Rocks. hockey, like a street hockey, like where they were doing crazy shit and street dances hockey. and shit, like, like yeah, like they were that doing would be Fortnite dances. Yeah, they were doing Fortnite <laughs> dances, <laughs> like that would be. Um, but like that was a big thing with like magic too. Like I wasn't allowed to play magic when I was a kid, which incentivized me to play it more. I wasn't allowed to watch Dragon As Ball a Z. Kid, you wanted to fuck with magic. I'm surprised you were not talking about Yu Gi Oh. No, I I didn't like Yu Gi Oh because I uh, the show was cool. Um, my mom didn't like me watching anime either. So like whenever that, that was sense. on, like I had to like turn it off. If I was a parent, I wouldn't let my kid watch anime. Either. <laughs> yeah. So like with the Yu Gi Oh show, like I really liked it. But then like the game just. It's such a stupid trope, but like I've always just had a distaste for Yu-Gi-Oh players, just because Yu-Gi-Oh players from where I grew up around was just they were just mean, like they were just like gatekeeping assholes, like they never wanted. Where it was like Magic was like dudes were cool and like, but my mom didn't like the the art and stuff like that. Like I was actually mm-hmm. in trouble for watching Dragon Ball Z during the uh, Boo Saga. That sucks because of uh. Majin had like the right hand man who was like the devil looking oh, guy. Oh, Deborah. Yeah, and uh, my mom was like, "What the fuck is that?" And then you know, like I wasn't allowed to watch it. But that's why I also started picking up tabletop games a lot too, because the one thing I wasn't really allowed to enjoy was like fantasy. Yeah. So like when I got to play those games, I was like, "Oh, this shit fucking rocks!" Like mm-hmm. demons and fucking the, 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 the goblin and the ghoul, you know, like fucking. <laughs> like, what, are you, what are you, Tony Soprano? Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, the fucking goblin and the ghoul. hey, the fucking goblin ghoul, like you know. Uh, so, uh, so when it comes to, like video games, I feel so stupid sometimes because uh-huh. I'm I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like I never played Ratchet and Clank. Uh, um, that sucks. Ratchet and Clank's good. Not as good as Jack and Daxter though. Jack and Daxter's Jack the best me. one. Yeah, Jack and Daxter that is the, best. the uh, yeah. You can add all of us because that yeah. is hands down the best. Crash Bandicoot's the best 3D platformer too, no. except for Mario 64. I played one. And Banjo Kazooie. I played, take it back. I, I rented one Crash Bandicoot from Blockbuster when I was a kid. Was it Crash Bandicoot two? It was Wrath of Cortex. Oh, I think that was three, right? Yeah, and it was not bad, but it wasn't great. So you know, I uh, but a lot of us. I also was the kid like I was always outside. Um, like I was always like, like even like by myself, like I was always like playing basketball or like, like I would literally just go on walks and then, so I don't know what changed after high school. I think it was just because like cigarettes and weed yeah, you know, and beer cigarettes <laughs> and weed kind of that turned me into like quite the shut in. But uh, when I was, I was a super active kid. Mm-hmm. So, and like, I you know, not. I had bedtime and like I even play basketball every once in a while, but that's it. You know, like I had a very structured like, like childhood. So like a lot of the stuff I never really just got to enjoy. I was into like like again like so it's like like one off miscellaneous shit like like my biggest like when I was a kid when you think of like when you were a kid what was your favorite thing it was tech deck dudes something about those little thumb dudes with little shoes on them like I was in love with those fucking toys dude like I collected all of them like I had all of them um but that was it like so like you would be talking like people would be talking about like oh have you played fucking Ratchet and Clank or oh dude check it I'm like dude look at these fucking tech deck dudes dog I'm over here like my childhood <laughs> thing was fucking Halo yeah see, Halo I know. Fucking rocks. I didn't get an Xbox Live until I was in high school. That's. I didn't have internet until I was in high school. I did when I was really. Or I did when I was young. I don't remember when I got it. That's how young I got it. Because uh, my dad's always been kind of like techy, nerdy. So internet yeah. was important to him. Well, my dad was always like a like cool, like my dad had a place. I just have vivid memories of playing Snake Eater with my dad. You know what I mean? Like that kicks ass. That's also the best Metal Gear game. Um, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's actually Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> yeah, big facts, big I facts. Knew you were gonna, you're that guy too. Oh, I'm a platinum fucking. You made me that guy, dude. What oh do you mean? my god. There is nothing better than uh, a good fucking character action game. I will say that one of my favorite characters, not in video, not just in video games, but of all time, is in that game, which is Sam. Jetstream Sam is yeah. the coolest motherfucker of all time. Of all time. Even better than Virgil. His battle music, the best. Oh, dude, I don't know about better than Virgil. I'm sorry, dude. He's so kick-ass. Never played a DMC game. DMC is worth playing. Uh, two and four are kind of whatever. Four. One, three, and fucking five are godlike. Four sucks. Two sucks even worse. Four does not suck. Four, four has the inertia system. Business just doesn't know how to use it. Dude. I'm fine with the battle system. It's the game itself that sucks. Dicks. They do have shitty enemy design. I'll say that for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not cool. <sighs> this isn't what I wanted my podcast to be about, guys. What? Nerd stuff. What do you want to talk about? You it's want to talk about cool 
get it's, pussy? It's your, <laughs> you want to talk, you want to talk about process. how I have sex with my yeah. girlfriend? You want to talk about that time that I busted a fucking huge load? I don't. I don't want to talk about that either. Which time? Oh, I guess uh, Robert does. <laughs> you remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you remember. Uh, what do you want to talk about then, dude? Nothing. I, nothing. I mean, uh, it's... Uh, well, you were the one who had a problem, so I don't, I don't know. have a problem. Clearly you, I, you know what? I think it's I something. think it's my fear of missing out, because I have no idea what the fuck oh, you, you guys are talking about. FOMO? Yeah, oh, you yeah, Oh, like I wasn't just sitting here for like 10 minutes yeah, silent while you guys were talking it's, about fucking it's my pussy? Po- it's my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like if I invited everyone to the party and no one's talking to me. You know what I mean? That's is that, happened at every party you've ever listen? thrown. <laughs> What's that? Is that a part uh, Panic of the Disco lyric? Yeah, right. No. Um, very topical joke. I know, very topical. But are you going to come back again? I mean, if you invite me, dude. Yeah, I'd love to. I remember uh, I had bothered you for like six I weeks. I was like, when am I coming to the podcast, Jacob? Are you inviting me? What's going on? And then you were like, oh, fine, dude. You can come on whenever you want or whatever. And I was like, well, uh... You got to talk about how cool I am. And you know what I'm really bad at, though? And this is for anyone else who's asked me, is I'm so horrible with scheduling. That's not true, by the way. I didn't ask him, and he didn't interrupt me, so I don't know what the fuck <laughs> that was about. No. I'm just going to let that play. <laughs> no, I didn't like that either, but I am hor- I have had people reach out to me and ask if they wanted to be on, like, those, like, local comedians and, like, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I, and I say, yeah, I would love to. Mm-hmm. I'm just really bad at getting back to them. Yeah. And uh, so You're I would... You're good at communicating with me. I'll give you that. I'll try. I try my fucking best. Well, you know, I actually... Ble- uh, I give it up for Robert because he was like, "Hey, Bodie wants to be on the podcast," and I was like, "Okay, like you know." I remember saying that, but all right. <laughs> uh, he definitely. Said I think that. it was maybe that he wanted you on the podcast. He definitely wanted me. Yeah, I do. I wanted you. I was super stoked when you uh, when you were cool with it. Yeah, I did it for Jacob, to be honest. <laughs> I do. I love. This is just a round circle. We're just blaming each other. Honestly, I, look, I, I love you, Bodie. You're so fucking funny, dude. Like, and ever since like. I mean, we've never like hung out, but like coming over, over to, like coming over to your house, like the shit that you do and say is the fucking best, bro. Like that's because I'm fucking brain dead. Yeah, I mean, but like even like 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 little things like Stop I'll remember more than complimenting him, dude. Well, no, like it was even like that. Remember that night? Remember that night you ego you came off. over and we all just got super drunk and listened to like nostalgic songs. That was a good. night. That was a great night, and then and you sales pitched me on how your Apple Watch was waterproof. And it freaked me the fuck out. Oh fuck! And you that kept like dunking your and fucking. Screaming in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing?" I remember making some particularly fucking edgy jokes <laughs> in the fucking pool, just out in public. But I don't know. Did you uh, have your shirt on when you swam? No. I'm <laughs> no. I thought you were that fat guy. No, I if if I'm in front of people, I I, I just told you a story like an hour ago about how I was oh, fucking naked making naked. out with people at Smash House. That rocks. I haven't made out with people in a long time. Wow, I'm telling your girlfriend. That's okay. I love making out with her, though. She kind of makes up for it, you know. She's cool. She's actually, I'm trying to get her, I, I wanted it to be a a, a three-piece, like, permanently. Mm-hmm. Um, But I know sometimes she's just not feeling it, which yeah. is fine. Um, But I like having three. Mm-hmm. I think three is a perfect amount. I almost did four. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was like, that's a little too that's much. They just lot. feel like a CNN war room. You know what it's I mean? A like lot, you and having a guest on is almost impossible when you have four people. Right. Because five people is fucking atrocious. Yeah, well, what was really awkward is the first time that I had two people on, I didn't even have three mics. They literally had to, like, share, share a mic. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, that's kind of fucking awkward. Was that the Exile Martyr show? Or no. no. Was that the Dondre episode? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. I remember it being like it was like it was, I, I had, maybe it was exiled because I think I had to ask one of the oh no it wasn't but I had to ask one of them to bring a mic. Um, point is, I spent so much money on this thing I kind of forgot about all the other stuff you need for a podcast. So yeah, like for example, this is a, like a vocal mic for like music, mm-hmm. but like I only have two fucking mics. So it know. sounds good. Oh, so thanks. Matter. I mean, I, um, I tried. I do know your mixer is. Uh, it says Rode on it. Yeah. Is that because you rode my cock earlier? <laughs> 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 We're gonna fucking end it there. Okay, that was a dumb <laughs> was, joke, Bodie. Hey, fuck Bodie, you. Do you, I thought it was funny. Do you uh, do you have any handles? Can anyone fo- find you anywhere? Uh, I would prefer you didn't follow me after this because <laughs> I said some wild shit and you're gonna cancel <laughs> me. But if you do decide that I'm funny and want to follow me, uh, it's a cap uh, a c a p underscore infinite. Um, on everything TikTok, uh, I have uh, as uh, Jacob said TikToks. earlier, I had some TikToks. Also on Twitter. Um, if you find me on Facebook somehow, don't fucking friend me, you fucking losers. So, <laughs> other than that, uh, that's all. Thank you guys so much for having me on. It's Absolutely, been a real good time. dude. Uh, Robert, anything? On, anything you need? Uh, anything you want to talk about, real quick? No, man. I, think I don't we give a shit. It. Yeah, we're done. So I don't give a fuck. All right. <laughs> thanks for coming on, Bodie. No problem. Thanks for coming down to the basement. 
Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. While you're at it, leave a rating and review to help other people find out about the show. Got a question? Email Jacob at tbdmanchild at gmail.com or find him on Instagram at basement underscore dwelling underscore Jacob. Twitter at tbd underscore Jacob and YouTube, The Basement Dweller. We will see you real soon.